welcome back people welcome back it's another live stream let me know if you guys are hearing me clear loud and clear check in let me know if you guys are hearing me loud and clear um i just need to get this stream out there to everyone on the stream let me see here let me just let me know if you guys are hearing me um Hey yeah, guys, I just need to share the stream a little bit. I don't, I didn't even get to send the link to Ryan as yet. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's another day. It's a, um, we have a lot to talk about today, guys. We have a lot to discuss today when it comes on to the reggae boys and it's the under 17. Under 17 reggae boys, guys, it's, um, it's, it's, it's not, it's not looking good. It's, it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Based on what I've, I've seen, um, based on what I've seen yesterday, it's not a good look. It's not a good look, guys. Based on what I've seen yesterday, it's, it's not a good look. Big up, Stefan. I will load and clear, and I'm not freezing or anything, right, guys? Um, this is just another, the, the whole thing is different today. I'm just doing a look alive because... After watching that um, little game yesterday, bro, I was very disappointed. Just like what I told you. It was like I was watching two top box coach one team, bro. It was on YouTube. I was watching it on YouTube, and it was like watching two top box. Bro, we, we, we don't have the talent. We don't have the guys who can stay on the football and make things happen. It's this it's big kick, bro. It's big kick all over again. Um, it's big kick all over again. Where did you watch the game yesterday? I watched it. I watched the game yesterday, bro. It was big kick all over again, bro. No glitches so far. All right, amazing. It was big kick all over again yesterday, guys. Um, it was. It wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good look. I was like, my God, like, when are we gonna get it together, guys? When are we gonna actually? play some football where we just we, we just look composed and 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 and, and we, we we look like a team that can compete this team that i saw yesterday the game wasn't be um, oh brian it was being streamed and then it was the stream cut i don't know what happened big up yourself fresh god um Donovan joseph says um here long ball for days bro it was pure long ball it was just pure long ball but as i said guys we shouldn't have local coaches coaching our youth teams. Yesterday was like watching a bad De Costa Cup or Manning Cup team, bro, play. It was that bad for me personally. And and this, you see, even Manning's man, when though it was on military, was streaming it and somebody else was streaming it. Manning's man, um, when he went back into the... Um, more <laughs> man's man, I watch this guy. Man's man might get angry and come over here. Big up yourself. Um, big up yourself, fresh god. Fresh god is a man who's always in the building. Um, man's man, bro. Man's man asks Marian Gardner about the system, you know, that same system thing when I asked my um, uh, Marian um, Gardner about in the press conference, and his answer wasn't any clearer. His answer is basically that he doesn't have a plan, bro. That's his answer. Oh, because I heard that the Federation wasn't allowing. Well, the Federation actually shut down the stream. I heard that somebody reported to the Federation that the game was being streamed. And whoever that culprit is, <laughs> there are rumors flying around. It's a specific person who um who basically called the Federation and the and the, and the people them. That's what I'm hearing coming off the ground that somebody call the federation people them and make them shut down the stream off of youtube but we're not gonna get into that shenanigans there we're gonna just talk about basically let's talk about tactically they they look okay in defense let's be honest they look they look okay um they look okay in defense guys they looked okay in defense at times in the midfield you see little things here and there but where are they gonna get the goals you i, I tell people this even when Tapa was the coach, you cannot draw your way to a World Cup, bro. You can't draw your way to a World Cup. Like, how are we going to get the goals? Like, who's going to score? 
Like, how is the play going to build up for us to score? And that's what I said. Like, I told you guys, once Marion Gardner and those guys are the coach, it's like, bro, we're screwed, bro. We're screwed, man. We're screwed. Like, it's not going to – I don't know how it's going to turn out. I, For me, I will say right now, I don't see this team qualifying. Let me be very honest to everybody here right now. I don't see this team qualifying, guys. I, I can't see it. I can't see this team qualifying. I don't see how they're going to be good enough, quickly enough to get it um, ready. Um, let's tell you what Stefani said. The coach asks kindly for the game not to be streamed. We have to respect that. Stefan, me respect that, but no, me know why no one the game to stream the game. They were looking deplorable. At times, Trinidad even looked better. Trinidad looked faster. They looked like they wanted to um they when they wanted to, to move forward, they looked like they were a bit quicker at times in transition than we were. Now I know why Marion Garden wanted to shut down the the, the, the thing, bro. Shut it down, man. He wanted to shut it down because he wanted to shut it down because it, 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 I don't think he wanted the world to watch this. This is exactly what they do all the time. They do the same thing and we don't know what's happening with the team and they give us this fake, fake hope that they're going to go and qualify the boys. But it's, it's, it, they're not, it's not good. They're not good enough, bro. This team is not good enough. Um, if our Premier League club can get the coach from Brazil, why we can't get four youth? Bro, I told you, I don't want any any Jamaican, local Jamaican coach in our youth team. He should be an assistant coach. He should be assistant coach. I said it on the stream. And people said, JT, give the man a chance. Bro, I tell people, I, 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 I project things. I project things and I make predictions. That's since JT come on YouTube, I haven't been wrong about a lot of things. And the things that I have been wrong about, me get me beaten. And the fans them say, JT, a, a crappy attack. But bro, I haven't been wrong about a lot of things. The moment that it was released that Marion Gardner is going to coach the under 17, I made a video. I said, guys, they're not going anywhere. Local coaches. And this, it goes back to why I asked Marion Gardner in the press conference. I said, is the is the national coach have anything to do with um does the national coach have anything to do with implementing a, a, a style of play with the youth teams he said well yeah of course we're in contact with them bro i don't think the national coach had anything to do with how i saw those guys set up yesterday bro that's just not it, it's weird man um it it, it it it's weird bro uh, even unseen I agree with me. I think even if unseen, may I go even give unseen a shout out. If unseen did a coach a team, at least in brain did a work enough to try to figure out make the youth them can go forward in a in a cohesive manner. Like bro, we we can't do that, bro. It's not gonna work, bro. It's not. We, we, how, how, when are we gonna stop just kicking the ball down the field and hope that so we fast enough to run past them and them? That don't, that don't work, guys. Like we gotta move away from that, bro. We got to move away from, I understand, based on history, says Jay Suguna, they won't qualify, but we have not seen them play enough to judge them. Bro, they have been playing against even grown men. They have been playing against um, Premier League teams and having practice games. They should at least look a bit, half more, bit decent. You know what I mean? They just look good in jerseys, bro. All I saw out there was a bunch of jerseys. You see what I mean? And I feel like we missed we missed a trick on this one, bro. We missed a trick on um, bringing in the um, the youngster from England. Let me send the link to someone who was at the game yesterday. Um, I think I would like for him to jump on the stream because um, I, I like to have somebody who was at the game who can give us also his take. Because people might say, JT, you only watch a thing on TV, brother. You see me on YouTube. Um, there you go. Shavon, I just send you the link. But, bro, I'm just being real, bro. I'm getting the stats from people on the ground. Um, I'm getting the stats from people on the ground. And they're saying it wasn't a good look either. Um, Duckland Stennett says, um, time to ditch local coaches. They aren't ready. They're not ready, bro. They're not ready, bro. They're not ready. They're not ready. Ye Stefan said, yeah, based on the first 15 minutes or so, I have some concerns with the team as well. I'm very concerned. 
Dr. Joy, who said, Jamaica, you 17 not going anywhere. Mary and Garden have the same. Bro, I thought it was Tapa coaching the team yesterday. I honestly thought it was Theodore Whitmore coaching the team yesterday. Can we go forward like this, guys? Let me know. Like, it's, it's sad to use the word doom already before they kick a ball in the competition, but we kind of see where this is going, bro. Anstein said, that's true. We see where this is going. Um, give the coaching staff a chance, says Sherlan Christie. If they fail to qualify, then we can criticize. Sherlan, how much chance we go give them? Every time we give them chance, they not qualify. What we need to do is make sure we don't give them the, the, the chance to go, make sure we don't qualify. I believe in being proactive. The way how we operate with football in Jamaica is the same way the government operate. They are, they are reactive. Is when something goes wrong, they start scrambling around. I believe in they say prevention is better than cure. We can't. Our local coaches should be assistant to more professional coach and let them learn while coaching these teams. We can't, guys. Every time Jamaica, every time this competition I play, we know in the brother. Why? Why is because of the coaching, bro? It's just not fear. It's not fear to the youths, them unseen. So you're talking some things that don't make sense. But no, I have to agree. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, for you see, unseen agree with me today. I think um, it's, 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 it's it, unseen. And I think unseen is a person who always back the local coaches and say, give them a chance. And if unseen is coming out today saying that it's not a good look, I also, I feel even much better because that's what I saw yesterday, bro. We, how are we going to get the goals? That's the first thing came to my mind. Trinidad, if Jamaica was a team that's going to compete to go to the World Cup, yesterday we would at least beat Trinidad by 3-1. to one. I'd rather us join 3-3 three, three with Trinidad yesterday and we fix some things. But, bro, coaches can set up a team to, de to defend in a certain way, but it's not easy to get people to score goals. Scoring goals is one of the hardest things in football, bro. Because you can't stuff everybody in the box and defend, but you can't just stuff everybody up front. Scoring goals is not the easiest thing, bro. Dr. Dreyfus said, there is no local coaches in Jamaica. Dang. Garden is a coach. Andre Edwards said, Garden is a coach that can only coach players that are top quality. But we, when he have an ordinary team, he can't do a thing. Bro, I don't know, bro. Yo, it, yo, Tim Tim say, yo, um, Tim Tim say, it's sad. It's sad, man. Vex. Yeah, John, no, bro. Um, and since he had told Jamaica how he might go ch change him style, that's how he plays. And I can't believe the selectors of the coaches really give him the job, bro. How did he get the job, bro? Yeah, how did he get the job, bro? How did he get the job? I had people at the game, bro. I had people at the game. I watched it on YouTube. And um, Shavon, give me a second. I will bring you in. And I'm going to bring in somebody who was at the game. And then we take some more comments. Because um, the comments are flying off the off the screen. All right. Let's bring in Shavon here. Shavon, big up yourself. Oh, yeah. Bless up, JT. Yeah, you hear me? Put in my headphones now that you're here. Continue talking. Yeah. I got to get headphones. Hey, are you hearing me? Uh, because... I'm not using any speakers, so I have to get my headphones. Yeah, are you me, JT? Okay. Right, buddy. Yeah, I hear yeah me. man. Yeah, I could hear you. I could hear you. What What did All you right. see from that game? What did you see from that game yesterday? All right. So, firstly, I just want to say um, big up to all of the commenters, all of the viewers that came in. Um, make sure that you guys drop a like for JT. Drop a like before right and have to jump on and butt up everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, So... The comments that Lida had made on, I think it was Ryan's on JD, J, JD show. Mm. The main concern I saw yesterday was going forward. Mm -hmm. um, the ability to put the ball in the net. Um, I still, still kind of have some concerns in that regard. Um, mm -hmm. We still have time before the tournament begins. So hopefully the coach can work with the strikers that are there. The striker that started yesterday. Um, um he never did so well he was the one who um missed the penalty as well um but defensively 
Defensively, uh, we played well. I'm not going to lie. Defensively, we did well. The transition, I got a lot of long ball again. Um, I kind of figure say it's not really a player thing, you know, it's more like the coach's instruction. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's for me a Jamaican coaching thing when, when we're coaching, the coaches don't seem to give instructions or want mm-hmm. to adapt to how a team is playing because how, how, almost, how was the coach on the sideline? Do you, did you think he was fully immersed quiet. in the quiet. game? Quiet, same t- top of, top of thing, quiet. Quiet, quiet. Like literally, there was. I remember in the first half, there was a point when the Trinidadian coach, mm-hmm. when Jamaica were kind of putting on pressure on them whenever Trinidad was attacking, mm-hmm. they literally saw the Trinidadian coach get up and told his players to keep the ball in the back, keep passing the ball around the back, and telling the players to wait until the Jamaicans attacked them instead of them instead of them going to the Jamaicans, wait until the Jamaicans came to them. So you can see that he was trying to, he was trying to adapt to the Jamaican style of play, whereas we would have had one game plan. So it doesn't, it doesn't seem as if the coach itself wanted to adapt to anything, because mm. Trinidad started off kind of more strong. Mm. They started off a bit stronger until the penalty. That's where you kind of see the um, the game change. When we started moving to the wings, that's when, especially Jamani Bell and the guy on the left side. Yeah. They did extremely well, but again, the finishing. Um, what I saw that was really impressive. A lot of persons might say it's not a lot, mm-hmm. but the first touches. I'm seeing improvement in the first touches. Okay, okay. I, I felt like they. I, I felt like the. They they always miss that final pass. Like right when when the attack builds up, somebody break, kills the play, with either like just not knowing what to do next, before right between the the center circle and the the opposition eighteen. I think we're struggling in the final third. All right, so I'm listening to unseen buzz. It's nothing is wrong to be quiet on the bench. There's nothing. There's nothing mm-hmm. with being quiet on the bench. You know, if your team is doing extremely well. Mm-hmm. But when you realize that a team is playing and a team is doing things, you have to counter coach the other coaches' static. So that's where I believe Jamaican coaches lack. But when we play opposition teams, we believe that whatever, as what I'm said, our physicality, <laughs> it's one of our biggest downfall because we might start a game extremely strong and then a other opposition coach might come out and just change tactics. Mm-hmm. And that might just kill our game because our game is one dimensional. Well, their their whole entire um, tactic, they can switch, they can change up. Um, okay. So a lot of person might say that a lot of coaches do their unseen same those. Do, like you, 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 do, do you have unseen? Send the link to unseen if you have unseen number. Uh, I might have to drop off the stream for a bit. Come on, use WhatsApp. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. I have WhatsApp on my computer. Keep talking. Maybe I have unseen number yeah. here. Yeah. Just keep talking. Um. So yeah. Um. As unseen, yeah. As I say, you don't see any issue with it. But my biggest okay. issue is that it's counter coaching. You have to counter coach when you're a coach. If you yeah. don't counter coach, you're going to have difficulties because you're going to be seen as a one-dimensional team. Yeah. Whereas an opponent, because all a coach have to do, you know, is just know, say, all right, then you're going to just play a long ball. So all we are going to do, when they get the ball, we're going to just make a kick it long, we'll win it, and then we'll come back at you again. Because that's yeah. what teams did, Jamaica, Reggae Boy, Cena team. You know? When we got the ball, we we'll kick it long, we we'll lost it, and they came back at us. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah. if it's that you're playing, because and then there's a difference between a long ball and a long pass. Um, listen to this one from Unseen. So listen, people, this the, this is Marion Garden tactics. When he won under 16 and the Costa Cup, that's how he played, how he got to change him style. He doesn't know to change. Unseen, I don't have your number, bro. Um, I don't know. Shavan, you have Unseen. There's no way you can just... Uh, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. yeah. So, right, so, so, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me yeah. a minute. Uh, and I just read out some of these comments. Um, 
Yeah, it's it's crazy, guys. Um, I, I I knew we were in trouble once he got the job. Um, I, I knew um Sherilyn said I can remember we qualified for about three or so youth World Cup Jamaica at, with Jamaica coaches at the helm. Therefore, it's not always failure with local coaches. But football has changed, Sherlyn. Football has changed. Football has changed. We're not in the same place when it comes to football. Um, guys, press the like button. Hit press the like button on the video, please, guys. Remember, you know, you know, it's Sunday evening. We are chop it up. It's um well, Sunday afternoon, I remember. Yeah, Sunday night over here now. <laughs> um, so um, yeah. So as I said, I saw a comment. Um, so somebody who was well, I was literally almost behind. Literally in the middle because I was where um, um MG was. I was beside the MG, the whole mm -hmm. streaming thing. So I was literally in the middle. I was seeing the Trinidadian coach and I was looking at the Jamaican bench. The Trinidadian coach was literally on the sideline for the entire match. And, 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 the the and where was the Jamaican coach? In the last part of the game is when I saw him, I started to see Miran come off the bench a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the last part of the game, um what what I can commend Mr. Garden for at halftime, he noticed that the player, I don't know if it was just um, confidence or it was just a shock because mm -hmm. it would have been his first official game in Jamaica. I think the striker, he took him off at halftime mm -hmm. and he put on the number nine. He was the one that was running down the channels. My issue, my only issue with him now is just that I think he just needs to work on his finishing. <laughs> Unseen, hold on, hold on. Unseen, you have something going in your back, like you're playing something else. Oh, I'm gonna move from, I'm move from the air. So yeah, yeah. Both, so. All right, all right. Continue, Shavon. Oh, it's so no. Yeah. It's so much better, bro. I know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we know, Unseen. Unseen, you're, him, yeah, I'm froze. I think he probably move away from the Wi-Fi. Probably I'm going to Canada. Mm, yeah, unseen. You moved away from the Wi-Fi. So, so, so yeah. Um, I'm not gonna bash the team. Um, if you were to ask me if I was confident, if I'm confident, mm -hmm. um, right now, knowing knowing the team that we played, it was Trinidad. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I'm fully confident. Yeah, I, I thought we should have got a better result. Um, unseen, were you at the game yesterday? No, I was watching. I was watching peace out and uh, military go on until them them stop him from video. video. What Mission was your what, what was your take on that quick little seg um, segment that you saw? Which we can't understand why them stop the man from video the game. Like, all right, Jamaica, so, Jamaica, all right, let, so let 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 Chevron let Chevron tell you what happened. He was right there. All right, so the reasoning that they gave the military was that they didn't want or oppose our opponents to see our play style. Remember, this was that a don't make sense, man. open, friendly game. And also, we had insights that there were two US scouts in the stadium. So if the game was being played behind closed doors, fine i would totally understand but the reason that mg got we're not sure of the validity of it they don't want the opponent the, the opposition to see our our play style whereas the game itself was a open friendly where anybody with a thousand dollars could have entered the stadium and watched the game anyone but that was the reason we got you guys can look into that as much as you want to make it All make right. sense as i thought and this is something i wanted to address mr chung with as well you cannot say that you want to get sponsorship and then you're not including fans the only way sponsors get back their money is through fans if fans mm -hmm. feel disconnected from something, they will not support something. So that's not, what's my that's what I Chaban, would say and everybody I got always have the time for go and mask watch. Are people who want watch who want to be a part of the brand who we spend mm. their money and want to see it. Come to the diaspora. We link the diaspora. Bro, bro, right? yesterday we had one thousand five hundred persons on military. 
1,500 persons on military street. 2,000 at a time. We, we, yeah, we saw 1,500 at a time when it was being shut down. And military was devastated, not to the fact of him wanting to get likes or anything, because I realized military never said not going to likes or nothing. Mm. He was still saying that he wants persons to be able to see the game because it's the first time persons that are able to see the under 17 team. And he was he was destroyed. Bro, he was destroyed. See a mentality with the under 20, brother. Them need to Jamaica. I mean, I mean, I can't understand. It's like them now learn, brother, something wrong with them. Yeah, me, me, me have been come feel away, brother. There's no way. Bro. Listen to me. All right. In the, in the international scene, do you do you see Chelsea put out them um them, them training videos? On them platform, don't yeah. scout, don't scout. I watch them day in day out. I watch them. them. Them can beat them so easy. I mean, so that was the reason we got and again, guys. Honestly, that my don't personal opinion, I me. don't think the reason that was given to us. I don't think that was the reason. Listen to me. I believe that they watch the money where military are gonna make uh, for the video and some. People, I don't think it's that. that some people. I honestly. Part, all right, listen and see. I don't think that is the reason either. I won't say anything. Re- if, if I doubt the coach, I must say better. Unseen. That's All right. crazy. I, 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 unseen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you. You know the jungle steer, right? Yeah. You know if the uh, military did that, basically. Yeah. If the Federation mm-hmm. never want the game to start, Mr. Chung, Mr. Ricketts, all star military. Right I never then. said anything. Uh, 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 so again, that's all I would say. I'm not going to say nothing more. You know what? I'm not going to say nothing more. Come and call him and ask him, come and vent him, you know, um, um, JT. Yeah. I was, yo, but they beside the, mani- the manager for the team and the man not said nothing. Holy mm. for man not said nothing. Brother, and, everybody and, was and, there. And he must say, everybody oh, was there. Everybody was there and see. But as I say, if you want to read between the lines, read between the lines. Listen again. Hmm. The president, the um, Mr. Chung. Let, let me just put it out there unseen. Let me just put it out there unseen and shava. Them say it's a specific YouTuber contacted someone and told them to shut it down, bro. I'm joking, <laughs> bro. That's a, a rumor on the street. You know what me that do still? I wouldn't sit up on the like military. You know, me that go on can I go video the game? Far, no, far, but far. the thing about it, there were others inside. The, there were persons inside the stands itself, outside of the VIP area. They were streaming the game. Right. Man, so, I'm tell you, it's more than it's more than that. Some may I tell you, say, that's why I am money saying in, money involved. That's why I am saying um, unseen. Money for live good, brother. The, the, the reason that good, we brother. got was that money. Money for live good, <laughs> brother. The reason that we got it never made any sense because. Cause Mr. Mr. Chung, Mr. Ricky, also. Mr. Who is the head of? Wait, wait. Who is the head of the JFF? Um, and, um, JT. That's a Mike Ricky. He saw military. If the game was not to be streamed, do you, you mean, think he would have said? Okay, I am done talking. I am no, done, but watch this now. The man has streamed the game. I'm here saying a particular man upon the game must not be streamed. That answer. The game must not be streamed. And then Earl Bailey, like it's a bad Earl Bailey. No Earl Bailey, go up and go tell him to shut it down. But yeah. if it was me and I pay my thousand dollars, I wouldn't be street. Me not stop like them things. Me never want to call over so they can't find with my phone. Yeah, man. The, the rumors is that somebody contacted Earl Bailey. Then specific... can't strike you on YouTube feed, brother. Uh, yeah, 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 nobody yeah. content. Yeah, yeah. But they can they can remove military from the game. They can but I remove them from the game. You can remove from the game, but you can go around the back in a, up, up, if you know nobody on this and turn up on one tree and video. You know Let me just see you unseen, man. Come Let on. Let them now. see me. They can't tell me if you come down. Me no. On the property. Unseen. Across from where we were sitting, across the next side of the stand, there was somebody recording the entire game. Simple. There was somebody on the next side of the stand recording the entire game. Bro. Bro. Tactics, tactics. Jummy, them know Jamaica come with from long time because when them say them see I'm mean, gonna tell you when them when something starts strike the American, you know, when them see a, a different man, like a white man, like a Al Grimson, when they yeah, research yeah, him now, yeah, them yeah. man, you know, them are gonna say, Alright, then yo, yeah. Jano, we have to go find out what's going on. Jamaica better, Jamaican coach, brother. Right now, right now, not every Jamaica, I mean, we're not gonna say like JT say every Jamaican coach must assist. Because we have Jamaican coach who can coach, can coach good. 
proper. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. saying, you know, I'm saying, you know, I'm saying until they get the experience and turn it over to them. I feel like they all need to have a, be an understudy and right. get the international I, I'm um, seeing. side. Yeah, you go to and the then coaching. you kick on. You go to the course, you go to the whole coaching thing. You are, you're in the process of going through the whole coach coaching thing. Is there something against like changing tactics drew, drew, um, during the game with the Jamaican coaches? Bro. All right. So, 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 so everybody have their personality you know, and egos. So you, you, you will learn because they might, they might, the same method like what Al Grim say you was and all of the European them, because they might try to imply you know, the Kanga Cup thing. So. As I said to people, say there are terms and certain things that people don't change yet in a, in a um, football. They affect the football in Jamaica. Because you know, talk to somebody like them, they don't understand it. They don't know why to, why them do it. Like, recycle the ball. Why is why we recycle? Um, like, attacking your one half, right? What the purpose of attacking? What the purpose of defending? Them don't know the terms, right? Because back in the days, teaching different from now. That everything changed. So when the um, when the when the European coach come to Jamaica and start work with the youth, them mafia go over certain things again with them shall know a long time from you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The coach, but, cha- the coach in Jamaica not changing. All right, I'll give him some keeper a two day. Yeah, yeah. only four coaches. Four bro. coaches turn up. Why coaches, and bro. even unseen, you should have turned up as well. No, I couldn't come on. My mama teach you. No, nah, man, in the busy, in the busy, no, man. Because I'm asking, yeah, me asking yeah. about it already. Because you need um, to take that opportunity. Hold on, Siobhan. Listen, guys, based on what I saw and seen and Siobhan, it's the same problem haunting us again. Um, lack of creativity. It, it just reminded me of the, the under 20 when we couldn't figure out how to break down defender, break down defense. Right. The, the, you see, hold on, Siobhan. In the, you see in that final third, I think it's one of our biggest issues. It's like players, when they have their back turned to goal or they play, they, 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 play, they trigger the play, it's like people don't know where to be. They, it's like they don't know where to be. It's like the guys are just playing off adrenaline. How is my next match, Akeem? They're not sure yet if it's either, if it's the same Arnett Gardens or St. States, because they must say they're, they're, worried, they're worried pertaining to lighting. At yeah, it's lighting. Like it's lighting. Like it's lighting. Yeah, so they're, they're, it hasn't been confirmed as yet. But based off of what happened, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a close friendly this time. Because yeah. there was a lot of a lot of persons who weren't really happy. With the, persons at the game were happy, but I know that persons in the diaspora weren't really happy for it. All right, to that. Sh- Siobhan, let's do it this way and unseen. I'm going to go to unseen, then go to Siobhan. Unseen, for this to work, what, what, what are some of the... It's the issues that you detected early on. All right, for this it's, it's, a, it's a my problem now. So you look at the coaches, them will go and do them piece of them allies now train that, and then you're looking at the Premier League. There's the one coach I try to when learn new, and I mm-hmm. speak. Check mm-hmm. it. Speed I try to something when learn. The problem is when the coaches them go and learn, they don't try to apply it because you see, Mary and God they don't change them style, don't they? This is how we play from yeah. ever since. And yeah, this is the problem. Shavan, no longer let us do it in the other. So. You got you got comp, you got players who can pass and control the ball who are technically gifted and sound. Right? Mm-hmm. So for me, it's easy now to teach them tactics going forward and also defending. Now, when you are gonna play a deep line defense, it's gonna affect you when you're trying to go forward the ball. So how do you how do you how, how, how that change that now? You're gonna play a, a pressing system. A, 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 well, they call it the young press, or mm. you have a few pressing traps or whatever. Forget to, 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 to forget the team in you know, one area where you can get the ball from them, and you gang them and get the ball. Like oh, you know, um, Craig Butler play. Craig Butler, theme, yeah. Theme yeah. pressing team. The only thing wrong with pre- Craig Butler is defensive part. You know, the mm. players them were not technically gifted to defend. No, mm. in this team you have technically gifted defenders. So once they get the ball, they can break it on easy because they defense. They are be a, de- a most defensive player upon the side. You have Gooden, you have um Bolt Barrett, Ayer Dixon, same name. Mm-hmm. Um Barrett from in Barrett start. Barrett. Hold on, I'm gonna have the starting line up. Hold on, I'm gonna go for it. Go for it. Give me a minute. I mean, I understand yeah. if you have a player like Barrett. Barrett, you have much of Premier League and him not start. Like 
I, and I said that and seen that Jamaica, the local coaches have a skill. Yeah, Barrett started. Barrett started. Oh, Barrett started. Okay. The, 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 the Jamaican coaches, the local oh, coaches, the, the local coaches, one of the issues that I found with them is they never get the right combination on the pitch at once. The right it's, coaches around them too. They never get the right mm. coaches to compliment them. Never. Yeah. Them get, yeah. Them get as a like coach. Because yeah. Meran Garden and Vassarinal is the same thing. Yeah. Uh, Unseen. And, 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 and the way how Vassaranos articulated himself in that press conference told the man talk about the players them. One of the issues that I found in, in when he spoke about the players is about 10 of the players he called out. He said they were hybrid players. And the hybrid allowed him said work, but be a work, me here, be a work, yeah, hard work. work. Hard work. Oh, yeah, hard, hard work. work. And, so and, 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 and you know what I mean by hard work? Defend. Defend. It is defend. It's meaning run up and down. Yeah, I see it as run up and down. Yeah, defend. You can run up and down and defend. <laughs> one point. One point. Mm. The striker that started the game, um, what's again? The 16? Mm. Yeah, Simmons. Despite him not playing to the standard, where I would give him credit was hold up play. Mm. So when they played the long mm. balls to him, so when he got the balls on him, he actually had it. He kept it. Where, where the issue came in, because what I was probably saying to uh, military and, and the other persons there was that maybe it was the style of play he wasn't really comfortable with at that particular time. Because, you know, you have strikers who can't play with a particular style. So they may be comfortable with a particular style of game so they can finish. Because heading-wise... I think he's a striker who should be in the box. You know, like a pure type person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. To me, he gives me that type of vibe because heading wise, because every time the ball went up in the box, he would normally win the headers. He wasn't the tallest, but his physical presence made him and the the striker that he put on in the second half, running wise, that's where that striker um um excelled. When they play the ball down the channels, he would literally run out. What what formation? What because uh, the formation to me at one point looked like a four four two, and then it moved to something else a little bit. All right. Uh, so what I saw there was four defenders. The whole there was only one holding midfielder. He was mm. the only one playing the holding midfielder, and then you had the ones in front of him, the one striker. So so it's me, four one. So it's four one, four one. Basically. Mm-hmm. Jamani Bell played excellent. It, yeah, it, Adrian Reed is one name. Um, um yeah, Adrian, Reed. Yeah, Adrian, Adrian Reed played, bro. Like, in bad like, man. Time, was 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 saying, like it, yeah, trust me, he had an excellent game, Mr. Speed. Whatever you're doing with that kid, because I saw you mm-hmm. in the chat and he had confirmed that the game is at step, so there is no lighting issue there. Whatever he's doing at, to that, that kid was. Literally, he was doing good. One player from Trinidad, though, that really, really caught my eye. I know most mm. Jamaicans wouldn't really care. Mm. There, there's a number 12 for Trinidad. Let me get his name. 12, 12. And, 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 that's, and that's the reason. Katu. Yeah. That guy, yeah. like anybody tell you, he literally locked shop around the back for Trinidad. He played mm. extremely well around the ball. Yeah, extremely well. And I, what I liked about Trinidad was when they had the ball in defense, they didn't look flustered. They looked like they were confident in what they were taught. And, and, and they just went out there. And I, I, just as touch on something that Ansin said, that's why I, I always tell you that I, I mostly watch Cavaliers in the Premier League because they just look organized to me. Yes, yeah, like yes, yes, I didn't see, don't you? Yeah, I see an identity. They're the closest thing to me to looking organized, constant, like consistently. Every time you watch them, even if them lose, you still see what they're trying to do. I, I don't get what that are the other coaches are planning to do. The, this bull rush thing, what did Hal Grimson said? The, the game was too, what he talked about the Premier League games. He said a lot of the games was too much power. It's power football. Remember, you know, remember when Cavaliers, they got the, 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 um, the club, the club thing that other day. Championship. Right? What, what, what speed says? Speed says have a problem going forward for scoring goals. And I see him go iron it out now. He go, go make mm. sure I get him education. And I, and I can see him apply it. In the, in the, the Cavaliers never play so in my life. I never see Cavaliers that play this way. Never. And now, a different Cavaliers. I have to talk about it and give the man him props. I'm the only man I see I play that type of way. 
you can see some when the ball along the line, the ball will go with pain. You know, say the ball will go with pain. Can the defender stop it? I don't think so. Because um the big boy they go score. <laughs> you get where I come from? Mm. Yeah. They go stop the ball and try to create something in front of the goal. Atkins not gonna do the same thing. These man they might think the football brother. But as I say yesterday though, um there were I'm bright spots. There were bright spots in the game. I don't want anybody to say that we're bashing the team. There were bright spots. As I said, Leader said that when Leader came on, I said defensively, he isn't worried. The only concern that he had mm-hmm. was really going forward. I, I saw that oh, yesterday. I know. Yeah, I, 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 I have a discussion here. I mean, I'm going to think about something. If you have a problem when the team going forward, don't you think that the defensive structure causing the team not to go forward? So, oh, you feel like not defense. necessarily. Because when I say going forward, you know, and see, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I say going forward, you know, it's not necessarily transition play, you know. It's about putting the ball in the back of the net. You hear what, um, you hear what um, leader had said basically. He, if we're going to be winning games, he's expecting a lot of one nil victories. Mm, a lot mm. of one nil victories because it's not like the team is not. From the defense to the defensive midfield, it was great. Honestly, it was great. Because mm. a lot of persons would players... a, a lot of persons would say, "Hey, it was only training that we were playing, but it was still an opponent. So, it was so still on. an opponent." So we have to. No, we get what you're saying, mm. team, but you can't put the defense, the attacking weakness on the defense because the defense is doing their job. Oh boy. Uh, let, let me just say this. Uh, Anseen, I'm going to let you go because um, I, I like where this discussion is going. Guys, remember to hit the like button and welcome to another episode of JTL Unplug. Um, this is where we just kind of dissect everything and put it out there on the table because I know we are talking about the negatives, but we I, I believe that we also we, we have to work with what we have. Basically, because that's what somebody came on the stream the other night and said, God, this is what Jamaican football come down to now. Work with what you have. And I don't believe that's the right approach. I, I think you, it goes back to what I said in the press conference and seen. When Marion Gordon said he didn't implement a system as yet, he's going to look at the players and create a system. Yeah, yeah, is Marion Garden some architect who just creates systems in football systems? You All don't right. just create that overnight, you know, bro. Well, I'm not saying Stefan, Trinidad, as a coach, Trinidad, yeah. Trinidad didn't get the time to press us because every time the back line got the ball. It was hoofed up. All right, let's start. Let, so let's big up get, guys. Let's big up. Let me let's big up Issa Allen man. Thank you very much for this super chat. He says, Yo, Mr. You guys hit the nail on the head. All me here, Vasa said about the players is them hard work and them strong and the man them say them work hard about 20 times. Listen, guys, I I understand this unseen. I believe in role players. You see, this is why Brentford is getting so much res- good results. I, I when I heard him say like 10 of the players are hybrid players. I'm thinking then who are the solid um, position players? The players where you know, this is my right winger. This is my left winger. This is my center forward. Everybody I heard he says was he gives us a lot in defense and we can also use him going forward. That sounds to me like, bro, you're you're, you're you're trying to just build a team off a of beer Tesla or, or some kind of hybrid system. Like, no, bro. Chevan, more ask yeah. a question on JT now. Me ask you, football is a game of moments, right? Yeah. Mm. Right, so in any defensive moment now, you want the defensive structure with the team up, don't you? Mm-hmm. When an attacking moment, you want to see the team now an attacking moment, don't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whenever we are attack, do we look like we are, we, 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 are, we, are, we, we look in an attacking moment in the game? Like, All right, the, the center back so them come offline and everything. Well, that's I what I'm saying, I'm saying. That's what I'm ask you. That's what I'm saying. Every time the defense got the ball, they hoofed it up field to the flank. <laughs> You're not getting what I'm trying to say. No, because what, most asking, of... what I'm ask you is... When no, so, no, you can't judge the defense because a lot of the times when the team got the ball at that time, the ball will be back with Trinidad. So they, probably the center box and wouldn't get opportunity to reach up in the attack as yet. No, 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 man, try say, no. No, man, one part of the game, you must see them play the ball up long and have it a little while. 
where all of the players them can push up and you squeeze. Yeah, them. the players them literally push up, but the, the defenders and the, the wing. Start. I'm not saying the wing box. They, the the wing box to me, because there were opportunities where I saw where the wing box could have overlapped. I never saw that. So when all them things, never, when all them tactical things then again. <laughs> I never saw much of that, the wind box. Not overlap. Not an inverse. Because a lot of the squares were coming from Jamarni. And the guy name again, the 11, from Veer. The guy from Veer name again? Cohen. 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 Dustin Cohen. Cohen. Yeah. yeah. The squares were really coming from Bell and Cohen. And they're not the wing box. Something wrong. So I don't see. No, there's Something nothing wrong. wrong with that. I don't see there's nothing wrong with them squaring the ball. They can square the ball. You know. Yeah, but, but when something. They, but we are Cohen playing. Cohen playing. Cohen is a what? So when he played on the wing yesterday. Oh, he played as a winger? Yeah, he played on the wing. Okay. So who played as a winger? I could forward? be wrong, I could be mixing up the players. Who but played I think Cohen forward? was playing on the wing. Who did I play centre forward? Yeah. Simmons was playing centre forward the first half. And then, was it Watson who came on in the second half? Watson a good ball, you know? Yeah, it was yeah. Like he, he came he was the one who scored. He came on in the second half and he was running the channels. That's what I'm saying. In the second half, you saw more dominance because when the play ball was played up to the flanks, Watson would literally run out. He would literally run down the ball to the wing and most of the ball them would be played back. And another change that I'm not, I'm not, not hearing persons really big up, Dylan John. Ball, man. Dylan, literally, he played with confidence. He made such Oh, he wow. made some back passes at time, which I kind of found weird because I think he had the opportunity to go forward. But he came on and he was taking on players. Jamali Bell was doing it. But um, as you well, understand but which but, 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 but Dylan Jana come from? Is that attacking 16 the man playing a better? Uh, in bed in front of Yeah, me know that, me know that, me know that. Um, unseen yeah. and Shavan, let's let's dive into this uh, um, uh, um, comment. Regardless of where the coach is from, if we are competing with teams that are preparing several months before us, learning their system and building chemistry, is that going to be an uphill task for us? Do you think it's the it's the it's the late start again, the same old problem that's also affecting us? Go ahead and uh, see. All right, all right, all right. So we are go, I, I believe that we're going we're we gonna be it. Um I'm gonna answer the question like, like in another way. We're gonna be it. Cuba. We are going to beat Guadalupe, right? Guad or Guatemala. I want to tell them now, group. And we are going to beat. We think we can you know, get a positive result from Costa Rica. But the problem is now, we're going to play against team who the coach can say, oh, all right, Jamaica is going to sit back because we start. Well, yeah, they're going to sit back. Now, um, players, we're going to use our creative instinct to move the ball around, put, pull players out of position, make combination play, get the ball um, into the back of the net. And once you do that, they have to come to we come on to we you know where they don't understand because they don't really play that way how to mm -hmm. break us down when they come on to it. So we can go long, we can play the ball through the channels and hit them on the counter and the transition. That's where my problem is right now. The team. Mm -hmm. When a team score oh. from oh we're gonna score back. Score we'll back, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll that's, we'll that's... We we'll yeah, yeah. yeah, we can't score, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it's the penalty shootout. The team did well in the penalty because there was a penalty shootout. No, I'm not talking the penalty in the game. Yeah, but we have. Remember, I was saying uh, it could be a situation. The player who took the penalty was Simmons. So it could be a thing where it could be it could be confidence. Because remember, you know, anybody playing uh, playing their first game, as what leader said yesterday, and he made a good point. Whenever you put on a national jersey, it is extremely heavy. And in a penalty situation with the home fans like that. It could be heavy, so you can't. I'm not beat him, but in the penalty shootout, all, all, we, only, we only missed one of the penalties. No, man, that's about in the game, bro. The game done for, done for 90 minutes. I get so what you're saying, and team, but I'm just saying, penalty shootout. no, I'm not talking about I'm talking about the players taking the penalties. You can see that the players looked confident taking penalties because them already, them already, them already win the game. Maybe if then they lose, they would have taken the penalty then. Anyway, <laughs> as I said, JT, mm -hmm, anyway, mm -hmm. pick up the player, them and everybody. We're not bring the, I want people to understand, say, oh, Unseen Sports, JT, Shavan, we're not bring down nobody. We're just to talk, we mm -hmm. see, and the man them for understand. But I was soon on the road, same way we call Tony, we're not friends, same way. We're not a man at, at Ray, 
That's what some people stay on. Nobody never, yeah. nobody never beat the players them at the game though. The most, all right. The most thing when me that say happen when the when the uh, when Simmons missed the penalty, mm. um, the announcer made a little comment, a little, this little sound the, effect. A little jingle. Yeah, the little sound effect. Yeah, and they told him, and, yeah, and they told him, and they came to him and they told him, um, it kind of, yeah, not to do it, and he never did it again since that. But other than that, nobody never, nobody was beating the kid. Look, but we have you know, normally at Jamaica, you know. When you go to Guatemala, they do them things. Where you go? Well, for those who say, no, I'm. <laughs> You're mad. Against them team, they want to tell us, say, a boo you and them thing there. As I'm saying, the fans was supportive. The fans was a bit upset at some point in time, but it wasn't the regular Jamaican upset where you hear bad words flew all over the place. Which was good because they are kids. In by which were good. Hey, that's all right, man. Our culture, brother. No, I am saying they're kids. They don't want to demoralize the kids going into a tournament. That's what I'm trying to say. Listen, 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 listen. Hold on, Shavan. Just like you, you pick me, I get trouble every day. And you, 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 because you don't want to hurt him feelings, you don't put a stop to it. Shavan, a football, man. A football, Jamaican brother. Language, a language, cool <laughs> a bro. The man, must learn the right thing from now, you know. Yeah, we have, we have to fix it, Shaban. Listen, football is not an emotional sport, brother. It, it, football is about are you competent enough to go in the arena and get the job done? That's it, brother. Sh Shaban, you know? yes, yes, <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, we were prep school practice match. And the referee, I tell the other school, bad word for the place. When the game done, the youth, they might tell me, say, yo, the referee goes, but I'm going to deal with it. And you know what I said to them, say, so welcome to football. <laughs> Welcome yeah, to No, I, I get what you guys are saying, you know. But what my point is, and, and I, again, it's my opinion. You guys can have your opinion and say I'm wrong or not. But my point is going across. I don't want the kids going into the tournament feeling that so Jamaica is not supporting them, this, that, this, that, blah. No, I think I think no, Shavon, the kids, if they go in this in the in the tournament feeling like that, they should ask themselves, why are we not being supported? <laughs> that's, 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 that's also one of the good. I mean, the kids were appreciative of the fans because you could see because there was a good amount of persons there. Honestly, there was a good amount of persons. We love the ball of them, brother. We love the ball of them. Yeah, you know, we all you know, do. You know, we I mean like, the structure around them when I like. If mm -hmm. we never liked them in the unseen, you wouldn't have 2,000 people from the stream I watched it last night and you wouldn't have 2,000 people of course why the stream end, end like that, you know. People okay. wanted to see the stream, you know. People wanted... Because after the stream lock, is about a good 5 or 10 minutes military phone ring. People are calling, people are calling, and I'm happy to explain exactly what happened, why, why I couldn't continue the stream. So you had persons who wanted to be were interested so you had that so we all know the interest was there no shavan we, we we have lamented and we have gone forward and forward on the on the on the whole the stream yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the stream and stuff what i want to see i want to come back to you guys on this again what are the things that the coach need to fix going into the next game? Imme things that you think can be done immediately. Attack, you attack, 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 attack. But how do you attack. solve that? Dive into a little bit of, of what are the measures you think you should take or we just don't have the quality players. Well, I would say put your creative players more... Take them, put a, put a creative player in the middle of the park that can create opportunities other than having the the, the, the forward because again what i saw is it kind of it seemed as if they were they wanted the attacker to be running too much to the channels and when he ran to the channels if he was if, when he looked up there wasn't much option in the box let's say if he wanted to put in across uh, jt mm -hmm. there wasn't much option there for him to say yo put us put a square but, but 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 this comes down shavon to what i spoke about with the system when you have a system players know where they need to be that, that's the thing with, with Marion Garden. That's why I stuck that question to him. Because what's going to happen is he's going to go out there and wing it. You get the ball down the wing and make sure a man crosses it in the box. But no, Honestly, the, the players... I, don't think, I don't think he's winging it. I think that is his game plan. Play the ball to the channels mm. and just use the speed on our strength. 
Mm. Hopefully, the opposing teams aren't as strong and fast as ours. You see it now? I hope and pray up and we're going to the competition. No, no, no. no. <laughs> when I realized I'm a wink a while ago, right? I know yeah. you see that a while ago. Okay, That's the reason okay. why I'm a wink. Mm -hmm. Because we see him, again, the coach indicated in his press conference that work hard. So players is going to run. We want players to run, just to run. You know, but, but, so, but you see, so what I'm on, saying, on. Is, the, but remember, no, he is the coach, JT. As Unseen said, he seems to be a stubborn person because that's how he plays with Garth Maceo. So he probably won't change. No, so change. we, so what know, we have to do in a JT. Remember, no, we have to be realistic, you know. We are not going to get him to change. No, so we have to bro. be we have to be realistic and just pray that Brother, the teams the only that coach, we are playing aren't as fast and aren't as physical as us. The only coach the other coaching staff there right now we, we, we might uh, work with the attacking aspect of the thing um appear. Peer to have a look attacking thing about him. You understand me? I say? Mm. I'm the only one who may have a balance of everything. But you can see Sev Marion Garden style in print on the youth them for bypass the midfielder. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And that if you go back, go watch. If you go back, go watch. Mark, Mark um, Gavin Master from from him start quote him. I see him thing. Never but, 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 but unseen. This is how he 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 learned. Him and Tapa Whitmore did that with the national team, where Damian Lowe skipped the midfield with the ball ninety percent of the time and try get it straight over to the forwards. Why are we using midfielders if we if we don't pass the ball to them just for defensive purposes? Yeah, remember, yeah, remember, yeah, remember when time Richard King come in the team and make him look like. Boy, I'm not I start to play the ball into the midfield. Yeah, uh, yes, ball. that's what I said. That Richard King <laughs> yeah, me should be. Hold on, Chavon. Chavon, this is why I also said that Richard King to me, he looks like somebody can play the, the defensive midfield role because he looks like he wants to push the ball forward. He's comfortable with the ball at his wow. feet. Damian Lowe can do the dirty work, but I would want Richard King linking my defensive play with my midfielders going forward. Because we can't keep skipping up, brother. Football in the modern age, look what Arsenal was trying to do to get the, the, the midfielder from Brighton. The man them a player, the man them a try, the man them a try get a player from Brighton where we got signed for one million to sign him for 70 million just to get that midfield active. You know what I mean? Just to get the ball through the midfield and, and trigger the play. Jamaica, we keep skipping the midfield. And maybe this is part of the reason. Um, maybe this is part of the reason why we haven't developed great midfielders because the, the style of play in the country it doesn't it doesn't we, suit midfielders. It doesn't suit midfielders. We kick the ball over them head and get the striker for run on to it. But what that does is look how Mikel Antonio got drained. Um, whoever that came into the stream, please put on your your, your, your thing. Okay, um, show a show a curtain, boss. All right. Um, but but mm. but but, but JT, mm. if you think about it, you know, we we'll have a Malachi Douglas, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I know people are gonna probably beat me, but I am not supporting the player itself. Um, we we'll have a Malachi Douglas right now, who's who we who for me, mm -hmm. a lot of person will probably beat me. Especially Butler supporters, I think Malachi was the player of the season in the Money Cup this year. The only reason why he probably never got past the goals. Um, Malachi Douglas is an exceptional midfielder. So, is it that again, because probably we don't have a system in Jamaica, the coaching in because Mr. Lenny Hyde has a position based system? Position, uh, yeah. So, when when a particular player may move up to a particular coach who doesn't have a position based system where the team bypasses the midfield at that time, that particular player will look lost in the midfield because he's not getting the ball. Yeah. And Shavon, I'm gonna bring in um show a curtain boss. Um I, I would have been more confident if Lenny Hyde was the coach because slowly on this reason. That that all island team that he took to Florida, I I saw those guys. Um, progressed and improved game after game. 
I saw where he fixed things and the, the guys um, um, were, 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 were taking his instruction. They improved. The first game, they look a bit jet lag or whatever. The next game, they look more composed. They look more aggressive. The next game, they went out there and compete fully with a team that I thought would have just destroyed them. So for me, Lenny Hyde, I like what he does. He, um, I, I, I think he, he would have been a better man for the job. Um, he looks like he has a thing with the youth. Show a curtain, boss. What do you have to say on this? Where are you at the game or what's your take? Yeah, man, I'm ready at the game, man. Okay, so talk to me. Um, Eddie, 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 brother. Yeah. I swear. Um, first thing first, based on observation, uh, we really have a talented um, bunch of players. They have talent for you. Okay. They really have talent. But, um, but um, we're lacking in the attacking force in terms of a striker. Boy, we yes. shot that. A clinical striker, we shot that. I don't think um um the guy who started for I think it's Simmons. I think it's yeah, Simmons. Simmons. Yeah. I, I think um I think um the guy who came on, I think it was Watson from Harbor in the second half. He looked mm. more promising going forward to me than 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 Simmons. Based on observation. Um no boy, defensively we look good. There's no yeah. doubt about that. We can defend. I mean the midfielders can defend too. But um I think based on observation again, we have creative midfielders, but we don't think we don't think we are using them enough. We think we are bypass them. Based yeah. on what I have seen, especially for the first half. I mean, there were times when at uh, the fourteen, the fourteen in the mid at, it was a fourteen, I think. Yeah, the defensive mid, the defensive midfielder. The 14 was really good. Whenever I get the ball, it looked like he really could have spread the passes, but them all play him through in the first half. And then okay. because they might the whole if I run up and down because they might bypass the midfield in the first half and I pass it long. Yeah. So they up and down the field, him did really up and down the field him up whole heap of energy. So by the second half, he did really tired. You know? The, mm. the Toronto FC player who came on in the midfield in the second half. But I really love to see him on the 14 team up in the midfield when I'm going to play them the ball. Show a curtain, really boss. Play. Show a curtain, boss. I'm going to let you continue. This is why I said, like, our local coaches, they lack this, um, this cutting-edge mindset. Like how you went and you saw that. They're not going to experiment and say, okay, those two players look like they can trigger the play for me. That one can spread the ball. Let me try this combination. They're not going to do that. They're either going to sub one for one and not have both of them on the pitch at the same time. Go ahead yeah, and see. Must say some local coaches, man. Don't, so, don't yeah, man. It. But so, you know the one never met up. The one never met up and see. Everybody. All right, true. I need to That's clarify this. Let me clarify this, guys. I'm speaking about the coaches that I've seen who have taken up some of our youth teams and our national team. Those local coaches, I feel like they missing a trick. Just like how I said, Lenny Hyde. I thought that Lenny Hyde, what he did with those All Island boys, that was exceptional for me. I saw them gradually grow into something that looked like they were progressing. Continue, current boss. Sorry about cutting you off there. Just wanted to add something. All right. To that. All right. So observation from the zoo, and this 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 I observe. Meron didn't start the 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 the, the, the strongest team. Mm. He never started the strongest team. So not like we can't get a full for me personally, but he won't get a full assessment for see how the strongest team look, but he never started the strongest team because based on the subs that came on, um there were there, there was a total difference in, in play with in the second half. Like they started mm. to use the midfielders more and, and that's how the, the, the goal came. Because it was actually the number twenty from Toronto. The live way and, and assisted that goal. So it, 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 the, the midfielders they really have potential to play the ball, but I think we are bypassed them. And I started for the first half. All right, for the first half, I think we started nervous. You could clearly see them did nervous. You know, them first international match together and they did nervous. But I think we sat back too much. And then upon realizing that Trinidad wasn't offering much, I said, all right, they're going to take the game in our hand. We're in front of our home crowd. And, you know, mm. yeah, we are playing against the owner of age, age group, you know. You understand? It seems as if we, 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 you know, we sat back too much and Trinidad never had for much going forward, but Trinidad played the ball around better than us. Far better Curtin, than us. Curtin boss. Yeah. You were, um, you said that you were behind the Trinidadian coach, right? Uh, near to the, yeah, near to the, yeah. You remember in the, first half, when the, you remember in the first half when the Trinidadian coach 
literally told his defenders them for just pass the ball around the back alone. JT yeah, for like a good for yeah, like a good five two minutes. We are good five course, minutes, you know. Yeah, man. Them them pass, and they will sit back, we sat back. The crowd had to be like, press, press. Yeah, when what, I what do you have to when when do? Like, do like, literally, JT, the four, the four children in the back line, they said pass the ball around the and no Jamaican no attack them. And no, I, attack. I literally hear the coach, I say, don't go forward. Make them come to we. Okay. So I just say, children literally look at them come for a draw. Yeah, they look at them come for a draw, brother. Like they didn't have anything. I'm not gonna say like, all right, if Jamaica never press them, they would have just comfortably bunks in the ball around. Bunks in the ball around. But 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 they move the ball around better than us though. Yeah, because we were they just move the, the ball, ball around better than us. And 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 it obviously the team of talent, the team of talent, JT, may I tell you. Okay. The team, you have places if we, if we use up the players, them and spread the ball more more than. But you see the tactics, I must say, I don't know if it's a tactic. It's, I think it's a tactical thing, but. In the first half, right, you could clearly see a player with um, Jamani Bell and the number two, the left back. You could yeah, clearly the see right. that they understand each other. The right, the, back, the, right, the back, back. the right back, the right back, the number two, the right back. Because what I saw was whenever he got the ball, the, the right back got the ball. Whenever I saw mm. that Jamani Bell looks to run run between the lines, he play him through. And if, if the number two overlaps, then Jamani steered back and play the number two, 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 and we would have to try to cross it inside the box. So you could see a chemistry with those two in the first half as compared to the other side. Question. There was nothing like that on the other side. Question. Yeah. How, how, far is the, how far is the back line, the defensive midfield, when we, get, when we have the ball in the, um, in the 18 yards? Well, well, half line. Right, it's the 18 half, yard, how far was it? Half line. Huh? Or, 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 or defensive midfielders? And the and the, and the back line, how far was them? Was back line was on the half line. The back line was on the half line, and the players, them, 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 the, the midfielder, them push up, them push up, like them go forward, them must straight forward, them look for a long, like them look for a header or something off of the ball. I hope so the second ball, them can win it when them kick it long. Okay, that, that, okay. That was what I observed. But, uh, and that's not a good strategy going forward. No, 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 because what I observed, uh, Trinidad, for me, Trinidad is not a proper measuring stick for us. Definitely not because Trinidad never offer much. Though they, they kept the ball, they had more position and also they move on the ball better. They never look threatening. And 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 may I say for a team when look that threatening when I press so much, when a book teams like this they dominate and you make use of the, of the, of the you know, you make use of the home home advantage and you play yeah. the ball around and I never see I never see that. The tactics I don't like it. Sh- show, show a boss, show a boss, show a boss. This is the problem. Um when we're building teams in Jamaica. Our local coaches tend to build the team via defense first and hope we can make a one nil victory. I believe in the opposite. I need a team that can score as much goals as possible. So if I'm down two or three goals, we can come back, tie the game, or outscore people. Because when you build a team strictly off a defensive mindset, when you're down two goals, where are you going to get the goals from? Scoring goals is the hardest thing in football. No, no, well, I, no. Uh, JT. I don't I don't get it. Well on JT, you think you think of that? Oh, when them score upon oh what kind of tactics we're gonna play the same way and try to say we can get go a long ball. Mm. That's a my question. That's a good oh, that's a move, good point. Oh, we're gonna move away from the defensive tactics now and go ultra attacking or uh, near near to ultra there so that look a good point and that's a good that's a good thing is wrong with playing. A defensive type of system, but in the moment of the game, when we are attack, all the team shape when we're going forward. All right, when we play the ball at the attacking area, when we're attacking at the opponent's half, what do we do with the ball in the opponent's half to create that space, get that combination in, get that player in a free space so we can kick the ball out for the goal? Those are the things. Or we all play right. the ball fast like a party at party and give it the ball. All right, now I'm gonna say this now. At least to me, I know well now, JT and Paris. Same so observe. I'm going say another strongest team start. Zane, that I won. Based on the changes that we must see make and plays, I must say, I understand another strongest team start. However, I think this team is good, you know, the team can go places, but the system I must say I play, but I think it's going to bring me far. Maybe it can bring me out of the group stage, but whenever we book, we book more tactical team, more technically sound, we understand the thing more, 
We're not going to go far, we're not going to go past that. But, 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 but if, Curtain Boss, this is why I asked Marian Garden, I keep saying this again. I asked him, what is his system that he's planning to play? He said he doesn't, he doesn't have a system right now. He's going to look at the players and, 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 and work all that. Curtain Boss, in football, you don't just go home overnight and make a system and get kids to buy into that. If you yourself, who's directing that system, don't actually know what you're doing, the kids, how are they buying into something that you don't even buy into yourself? So this is where I'm saying the issue here is Marion Garden didn't have a clear way of what he wanted or how he wanted the players to play. So now he's just... I know this is the time where you mix and match to find things, but he, to me, this is what you call winging it. In a, you, no matter how they want to nice it up, when you don't have a system, brother, your plan is to wing it. All right. JT... I'm going to play devil's advocate. Maybe the system is defensive. But defense, you can't draw, you can't draw your way into a World Cup, brother. You can't draw every game and get rich a World Cup. Hold on, hold on. Why are you asking me? I'm just going to say something. Probably no, no, no. no, no, no defense because the remember, you know, the Malichi, the Malichi guy, Malichi Grant, I haven't seen him in the same name. Malachi Grant or something. Malachi Grant, yeah. I but think I, I heard something they said that he was actually um one of the ooh, comments ooh. made was that he he attacked too much. Attack. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all right, unseen and Shavan, Simon is on the move. Simon wanted to say something quickly. Simon, go ahead. So um and just say what you have to say, Simon. So from the first press conference that Murren Gordon had prior to the not only the Trinidad game, but prior to the very United match, he basically was making the point that there is not a lot of time and he wanted to keep his team private as possible, which is why the hierarchy of the JFF gave me as information and announcement to make at the stadium. And from there, that is the reason why what happened happened from that standpoint. But I don't know if you guys have questions in relation to what was said, but that's basically the situation from yesterday. Coach Gordon doesn't want the, the two friendlies to be streamed to ensure that Cuba, Guadalupe, Costa Rica, potentially, and uh, Puerto Rico and Canada, so that they wouldn't be able to see us. There's supposed to be a Canadian school coming to the second game, uh, so and hopefully that person doesn't come into the, the second game. Um, Mr. Simon, I think that is totally madness. My opinion still, totally madness. And that's what I mean, because a man can watch a team, but on the day of the play, can you beat my system? We just to understand it, because the game of the play on the field. Right? The uh, game Simon, of the play on the field. Uh, hold on, Simon, did you agree with that particular sentiment that the game should not me, be streamed? Me personally, no matter who you are in terms of whether, whether the game is on YouTube or not, the fact of the matter is, I personally hold a view that if you're going to make people get comfortable knowing to the team, then the, this is the opportunity to go. So the reality is people that live a country or overseas, not everybody is going to drive to Arnett. Arnett is not a national stadium. I can hold 30,000 people. So the reality is that this is their one chance to see the team. And we're not sure yet if CONCACAF is going to even stream the, the qualifiers yet on the YouTube channel. So when would the Basically, fans have an opportunity to basically see the players, get to know them intimately, intimately in a sense of, okay, number seven, other player, other player. So that's my standpoint of, of things. Because, Simon, um, for the reason given it was, it really never made any sense because if it was a closed friendly, I would understand. But it was an open friendly with anybody with a thousand Jamaican dollars could have easily gone into the game and watched the game. So I don't understand that particular logic. And then again, this is again, I said it, one, one issue that I want to make sure I have with the JFF. Keep complaining that they want sponsors, but it's as if they don't understand how sponsors work. In order for sponsors to be in, um, interested in something, they have to be able to get back their money. Without fans, there is no way of getting back their money. Yeah, the man named this to fans every day, brother. Because even before the penalty shootout, Coach Maron Gordon shouted, Simon, see, this are that 
film in the penalty shootout as well. So it's clearly something that he's very passionate about, not having any video footage of the game. Training sessions, he's cool with that, but the game itself, that's where his issue is. Just can't understand it because it don't make no sense to me. I don't know. These private coaches, hey, football are big body business. People pay for watch football, you know. People want to see things. You can't if private, you were, private but, football. You cannot if you were Brazil, national if football. If you were Brazil, England, Germany, Argentina, one of them teams there, I would understand. Because Jamaica played Argentina before the World Cup. Right, Simon? Devon Porter. That was, that was globally time. televised. Mr. Porter, I get what you're trying to say, but this is where you're not getting it. It's an yeah, open, yeah, yeah. friendly match where anybody with a measly thousand Jamaican dollars can enter the stadium. Anybody with a drone can literally fly. It's not a closed session. Anybody can watch it. And the one persons we are turning away are your fans. How can you turn away fans? All over the world, clubs have open training sessions so fans can watch. And you're turning away fans from watching it from the And, and, and my and thing with that, Siobhan, Siobhan, my thing is with that, if Marion Garden don't actually... I was have, at the match, Devon. I was that, at the match. No, nobody, argue the match with, nobody argue with Devon, um, Siobhan. If Marion Garden doesn't have a system, what is, the other, what is he hiding? What are the other coaches watching him to break down? Break down the madness? Are you, are you trying to figure out something that's not structured? Like, bro, I strongly believe in system. Look at when Hal Grimsey came in. It took two games for you, or one game, for you to actually see what the coach wanted to do. It took one game, bro. That's a coach who has a system. It took one game for him to see that. Look how Jamaica look against Argentina. We automatically look a bit more disciplined because I, I knew his instructions were going to be, guys, in this system, you need to be there at this point when the ball is there. This is where you need to show up. When, what what Marion Garden is doing is, all right, this guy is talented. He looks like he can play right back too. And he play left back. He's a hybrid player. We put him, no, bro, you have to have a system and you get these kids to buy into what you're doing. And, 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 and you, then you start tweaking it going forward. I, I think he's trying to build a house from the roof up. That's just my opinion. Not saying it's gospel. My opinion. Go ahead and see all right, so this is one of the things that enough people don't know. I was at uh, Mount Pleasant last week, right? So look at the difference between Al Grimson and the Jamaican coaches, then, right? Them that the Jamaican match, all right? So um, I am sure sports boss comes to boom now and said to himself, why are you going over in the sun? Come and sit right here because, um, you know, the sun out over there. You know the man said? I'm going to the stands with my fans. I'm going to the stands with my fans. I want to sit with my fans. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, because right, the fans yeah. are important. No, no. when I'm going at the stands with the fans now, Trevante <laughs> Stewart scored that goal. And when Trevante Stewart ran over to that side of the fence, the man get up and clapped Trevante Stewart. Was clapping him. Mm, right? That's good. That's brilliant. Next thing now you must look at now is um, when he must keep him in, in, in practice with, with the players in the JPL, him invite him to him build a relationship with the club. Yeah. Yeah, invite coaches to come and look at what he's doing. Wait. But guess what the problem with the coaches then now? Ego. I hear Peter Gould talk about it. Peter Gould said too much ego with the people in mean, football in Jamaica. Coaches go right up to administration. Ego. Everybody knows it all. Why can't we learn from everybody? Why can't we throw away that that that, that ego? Say, so, I am the man. I'm a chest. I up in the air. And, yeah, I am the man. We need to show that thing there and try to learn from everybody, bro. Why are we privatizing the football? The under 17 team is going to play your private thing, bro. I mean, I understand that because bro, you don't want nobody to say you play, you, you, you play long ball football. The whole world knows that long ball football are playing from school ball football is good, right? Now you have more competent players who can pass and control the ball right across the field. And you can't get the money to play attacking. That doesn't make no sense to me. JT. You see, if the game was... All right, let me tell you why I'm so pissed off. And it hurt me. All right, Siobhan, Siobhan, Simon has to run. So let me just let Simon put in his, his, his final take and then I, I come back to you. Sorry about that, Siobhan. Um, Simon, um, you, you talked about an announcement before the anthem or something. I wasn't sure. Go ahead, Simon. Yeah, that is what I was referring to before the anthem, being told what to, to say in the microphone to 
everyone in the stands. And it was from there, after saying it twice, the the media manager of Trinidad, Sean Fuentes, had shared the link with Earl Bailey. Earl Bailey went upstairs, talked to to MG. Okay, to military gunners. So it was um so it's cleared up there. So guys, that's cleared up. So but Simon, do you agree with the sentiment that teams would watch what we're doing and break us down in this such early stage if Jamaica actually don't have an identity yet as yet? I mean, Shaban asked me the question a few minutes ago, but the, what I basically was saying to him is that in terms of fans, especially those outside of Kingston and outside of the country, they don't know these players at all. It's not like, you know, we, we get to see star for under 17 or under 20 online. So the reality is that fans don't know the faces unless they go and type them in online. So this would be their opportunity to do so because CONCACAF is yet to confirm as yet if they're going to be streaming the championship on their YouTube channel. They usually do it, but that is still something to be confirmed. So it's it might be a situation of if it's not YouTube, then somebody has to go on cable and get flow to be able to watch the championship itself. So, it's, so the ch opportunity is right there already significantly limited to actually follow the team, know the players intimately and, and what they're all about. So so the reason, so that's why it, they, you'd say you're agreeing that they should have, people should be able to take a look at the players now in the in the initial uh, um, stage. Yeah, um, the, the, yeah, the only challenge is that the TTFA, Trinidad and Tobago Association and the JFF had agreed for this first fixture in particular. I'm not sure what the agreement will be like for Stets, but you know, Trinidad as well haven't played just like us, and they're trying to keep a lid on what they have as well. Okay. All right, Simon, so why not have the game? Of the the game. Repeat what you said. Yeah, why not have the game as a closed? All right, you see, if the game was a closed door, I wouldn't be this upset. Okay, understood. Yeah, like I understand that. That exactly it's counter, it's contradicting the idea of the game not being closed door, fans has to pay to come in, but nobody can else can't see so who, who can't they send other people so other scouts to the game to watch the team live you can't stop the scout because the scout can be a jamaican a scout man can link me you know link on team hey, all right, me, I, all right. Amount, amount I have i literally i heard some rumblings i'm not sure how true it is that there were two u.s scouts in the game in the match yesterday i heard that that there were two u.s scouts in the game yesterday I don't know how true it is, mm. but I don't see being far fetched. Shaban, Shaban, the man in front of us can link two man, two Jamaican coaches, and tell them to dice at the team or anybody. Right? Then have to come down themselves. Simple something. See, now I want to get back on the football because I think we these are the things surrounding the football. Um, final take on this, Simon. Based on all the players you saw yesterday, um, who would be in your next starting 11? Um, what were the, the adjustments you would make? Who would be some, some players that you saw immediately should enter the starting 11 to start tweaking that and try to figure out who our best 11 is going to be going forward? The team that played, that started yesterday is not far from the 11 that I ideally would like. The goal scorer, Watson, I would have him up top. I wasn't really, really impressed by what I saw from Dustin, there were some moments in time where either possession was lost or the decision making in the final third was just a little bit lacking. But, you know, as Chavon made mention earlier in the program in relation to the holder play of Simmons, yeah, he does that extremely well. But Bell has to be somebody that plays almost every minute of the campaign for Jamaica. Yeah. Jamani Bell, he yeah. has to play every single minute if Jamaica is going to go far. I have the team to go to the quarterfinals, that's where I have them to go. But I hope, hopefully speaking, I, I just hope that we don't finish second in the group. Yeah, we'll have to beat whoever comes our way. But finishing second is a tough road because you go through the host nation, Guatemala, and potentially the United States. So basically, I wouldn't want to finish second, first or third for me. So in, to answer your question in particular, Bell up top has to play every single minute. It's I like the idea of a, of a back three in this sort of instance. And coming into this game on Tuesday, I would like to see close to the 11 or the 11 that would suit us in guatemala okay so you're you're, you're saying that's a close 11. what about you um curtain boss based on the game yesterday who would you immediately bring into the team and or tweak your starting 11. Good start. 
I'm starting level. Simon's not impressed me. Him all up playing, him, him all up play good, but him not impressed me at all. Him not have nothing else other than that. Him slow. Mm. I mean, him, him decision making, him, 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 him can't dribble to me. But mm. him all up plays good. So, um, him on the day in the team, the, the number nine, Watson, would have start to me, right? On the right hand side, um, me have Bell on the right hand side. On the left, me have Dylan Jam. And the number two, we team up with, um, with, with Bell on the right. In the start as my defender. But they start by the 8, the 14, and the Toronto FC player. They will come on, come, come, make the two passes score. They might have my midfield three. Uh, um, as I said, Watson, Dylan John on the left, and Bell on the right for me. Uh, the number six, good. Him, him, him good. I think I'm a versatile player, I think, if I'm not lying. I think it's just the, Adrian. The, the, the clear skin, the target. The, the, the yeah, the Adrian, good. man. Adrian. Yeah, he has vision and he can, can play the ball. He has good control. He can play played, the ball. He played for the entire game. When I say play the entire game, he had an impact for the entire yeah, 90 minutes. The captain the minutes. would... And another yeah. centre-back. We don't know which other centre-back, but that would have been my team. Bell, oh. Bell and the number two on the right... Dylan and the number six on the left. What's up front? The number 14, the eight, and the Toronto 20 in you know, the midfield. So, and um, Zaire, the captain, our next. I don't know who's the other center, but one solid center, but that would be my team. Okay, I'm gonna pitch the same question to Shavan, then Unseen, but um, I have a follow up question for that, um, um, curtain boss. Shavan, based on your observation of the game, what are the immediate changes? Um, you would implement and bring in some players to kind of shuffle it around to get their best 11? Um, I think it's basically the same thing, to be honest. Um, Watson will come in for Simon. Dylan will have to start for me. Um, I don't know if there's a reason why Dylan didn't start. To me, Cohen did well. I know a person said that he lost the ball a lot, but mm. he played well because, you know, those direct wingers, JT? Mm, yeah, he's very direct. He's direct and he one and there's one point in time which was stupid, but his confidence. He took on two players and he actually beat them. I don't know if you remember that part, I'm current about in the first half. That was yeah, in the first half. Yeah, but in the literally... Yeah, Shavan, it was just a bit all over the place for me that I it was hard for me to even see the bright spots because it, it was every time we triggered the play, the play broke down. Ned, all right. In the first half, what really killed our attacking threat, to be honest, mm. it was Simon. Mm -hmm. A lot of yeah. time when Jamani and Cohen made runs, because as I said, he's the type of player. He's like he's because of his physical presence. Every time the ball, you saw that I like his intent. Mm. You saw him wanting to reach in the box so that he can get his head on the ball. So I, I have to give him that. That's why I'm saying I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him, but to have him start, I wouldn't have him start. Because okay. based on the coach's um, style, again, this is on the coach's style, we need to have speed. You need to have speed when you're playing striker for him because he wants you to run down the channels. And that's how we lost a lot of balls in the first half. When, they, when the ball was being played into the channels, mm. we never had the speed to reach the ball before the Trinidadians. As I said, the Trinidadian defense, I'm not going to say they were great, but they stood up to the challenge. Okay. And then when the number nine came on, that's where you saw the difference. Because his speed, they couldn't match they couldn't match his speed. So those are the only two changes for me, really. Watson and I would bring on Dylan. Unseen. Um what what, what what would you implement? Would you change the formation? Would you what if you if you took over the coaching job tomorrow, your first thing that you would implement to maybe get some different results what would these things be all right so i'm gonna change our, our, our different right that's start different from the opponent half. so that means okay. I got about high, high press high press i have a christian system in place also i have a system where whenever the, the beat our can good team good teams can beat the press right so when they beat my mm -hmm. press now i have a type of play where um we slow down the game Right, T tactics, tricks and trade, matches boxing business. <laughs> ever hear that mm. saying that? No, never right. heard so it. Never heard it. No, never heard it. 
All right. So you have many, you have whole heap of type of things where you can stop the player and you get your players to drop behind the ball. No, because we have a lot of defensive-minded players that we have good defenders and Barrett and um what are they, Major Reed and all those players who are defensively sound. Once we, once 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 them beat our press and have us on the counter, we try to slow them down a bit. Slow them down, get our players behind, and then now we are dropping our defensive structure. All right. But whenever mm. we're going forward, we're going forward with the ball. Only time you're gonna tell them to keep the ball long, unless we have wingers who are in space who we can, you know, lick them long because they're the easiest road to score goal. Right? The easiest road to score goal. But we're not gonna lick the ball to the center forward, and then there's a center back who taller than that center forward, which don't make no sense to me. Me, I got cost and go on bad. You can't do that. Now, mm. my midfielders, then, when my center back have the ball, my midfielders are supposed to have fetch, 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 and I play the ball. Why do we recycle the ball? Because we want to pull players out of areas so we can get space. How do we score? Get by getting mm. space through JT. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We'll yeah, yeah. So when we get the ball in the midfield area, in the opponent's half now, because we got up that opponent's half now, all right, people, follow me. We got up that opponent's half. So I have my line of uh, attacking players, while the midfielders them have the ball. Right now, if we spread the ball to the winger and the space is locked there, we're supposed to can recycle the ball and draw that player out of the area. Then we can play a, a combination play and get a square in. Not true, yeah, 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 yeah. No, what are what we are what we are doing is that we play the ball out wide, mm -hmm. then we are trying to run through the roadblock, yeah, yeah. What yeah, about yeah. drawing that player like chess checkers? Join that player that era so you can take two tech. Two tech. All right. All right. I like that. And because I, I would let me just add to that and see because how I would approach this is I believe in the high press and I believe in that um the triangle press where you have three players surrounding the 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 area where the ball is. So if we recover the football, our player who gets the football have a quick outlet. And I want to make sure we are pressing in their half. Let them make the mistake closer to goal. You know what I mean? Let make the mistake closer to goal. I don't want to, every time we're building up play, is in our half. Because then the game is played in our half. I believe that the best team, the, the, the Manchester City, the Liverpool's, the, the Arsenal. Game from opponents are... Yeah, they win the game in your half. They force you to make the mistake because no team is going to play a perfect game where they get all their passes right in their half. But if you have them making mistakes in your half, it, it may, you, and you, you then have to build up the player, then you're going to be playing counter-attacking football. So well, you, again, you're going to have to draw them in and then try to hit them on the counter. And I believe that takes a lot of energy out of your players. JT, hold on. The question they asked me was what I would have done and mm. what do I think needs to be done in order mm. for success. What's, what was the question? Um, what you would have implement right oh, now? In I, the, yeah, oh, implement. No, yeah. I misinterpreted the question. I thought you meant what do I think needs to be done? Yeah, yeah. Because if when you, I heard you, when I heard you on unseen in the comment, I was saying that now nah, happened because the coach. So that's what I was working off, you know. Mm, if it was up mm. to me, you know, I would be. I would literally want my team to be playing a position fast place football. Keep the ball out of the year only if you're in a decent mm. shot. If you're, if you're comfortable, because a lot of times I saw the players kicking the ball and when they weren't under pressure. Mm. So for me, it would be a position based football when we have the ball. When we don't have the ball, for attack, we press you, we press you until we get back the ball. That's why that would be my mo because what? it goes back as to what um, my favorite coach has always said use your energy when you lose the ball. Yeah. Use your energy when you lose the ball. Run when you lose the ball. When you have the ball, keep control of the ball. You control the tempo of the game. If you want the game move fast, you speed it up. If you want the game move slow, you can slow it down. That's what I would have done. I would have my team to be playing long ball. Well, Shavan, you have to put that position thing there in context, you know, bro. Because we can have negative position, you know, bro. It don't make no sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. makes sense? You get what I'm saying? Exactly. And it yes. works and in and you know, negative position work and in and you know. Because sometimes you're winning the game management, and you don't necessarily need to attack. You understand me? But when you mm. need to get a goal, bro, you need a lot of positive position. Yeah. And, the, and that goal. position, and, and that's in the opponent's half. Right. <laughs> what if I know something? That's in the opponent's half. 
trying to yeah. create that using the principle of attack to create opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and believe the best the, the and, best defense and, and seen is the is, is a great attack. And then we have to understand that naturally Jamaicans, if you look at our history, I always say we don't like patience. Patience is hard to teach Jamaicans. Yeah. Check yeah, cricket. Yeah. We play 2020, we are the best. Can't play a test match. Can't play a test match. Not even a 50 so, day, not even so, a 50, so 50, 50, so, 50 so, so, game. So everything, so everything we want to do fast, 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 yeah, fast, fast. Yeah, yeah, we need yeah. to start teach, um, all right, the space, the block, or we can do for John a player out of the, out of the era. Or we can ship it to the next side and test that here. Then. We ship it to the middle, try to go to the middle. Or we're going to keep the ball and do that. Ship it, ship it, ship it, ship it to the space, open up. And then we can yeah. do a combination and get in the middle. And Last curtain was. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. When you all right. So you know the Premier League. I mean, I use Jamaican context so people mm -hmm. understand. Now the Premier League have on it. On it have players with fast like a bullet. Fast. Them play fast. But them mm. play fast and foolish when they're in the opponents arm. Uh, be a mistake they make. Yeah. Right? The one match. Me say. <laughs> The man them say, all right, well, we're in the attacking terrible, we're going to it down a bit. We're going to move fast with the ball, get it in the attacking terrible, we're going to it down the attacking terrible. The man them teach more players than football today. Yeah, 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 yeah. You remember that game, eh? I didn't watch that game. I tell you, I mostly watch Cavaliers, brother. The man them <laughs> teach more players than that game, brother. Teach more players than that game. Mm -hmm. So, what I say is, when we're in the attacking third, because all oh, the system where we're playing, the long ball thing, but we get another attacking third, we now keep the ball. We are try to get the ball to the far of them. And most of the time, for them have two, four men back of them. Close. So all them are score goal. Yeah, it's and, and, and another thing unseen. I'm gonna come to um their um curtain boss. Is I said I spoke to this guy, um um one of the Schmeichels, um not not Schmeich, with with, with the brain, large jobs um from uh, Br Brandy. And I was asking him, why don't we have more Jamaican or Caribbean? Jamaica, I'm you especially. Because I was like, you know, we have a lot of talent in Jamaica. Why we don't have a lot of more of those players here in Scandinavia? And his take was that they're too anxious with the ball. In a way, like they're a bit, they bit get jiggy. They're a bit wild. And it comes back to what you're saying is the, the game is not taught to them in a compo where it's about composure. That's why they miss so many goals. T um, Thierry Henry, one of his greatest attributes was how composed he was in Composer. front of the goal. You see what I mean? Look when Jamaicans style. get in front of goal. The, the adrenaline, we let the adrenaline takes take over and we do this rash thing. This is what's affecting a player like Junior Flemings. He have the speed, he, 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 he works hard, but he's not composed. He's, I think it's a disconnection unseen between mind and body. The, the, the mind I tell if we do something else, but the body is out of sync with the mind because they're not balanced. You want to teach the players, like, listen, guys, the game now run away now. When it's time for us to turn it on, we turn it on. But we should need to slow it down. We need to slow it down. That's how you change. There's teams out there who know how to rest in, a, in the midst of a game by slowing it down, knocking it, and let the game come to them or because, they turn it on. Because it's impossible for you to run like a madman down exactly. the long run. the whole entire game. It's impossible you have a break. Unseen. Unseen. You never hear what the brother say. The assistant coach say. The players in my work hard. That means they are running. Yeah, they so that's running. what hard. Hard work in Jamaica in football, it means you're wild. Um, Go ahead, um, Curtain Boss. Sorry about that. Curtain Boss, you there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. When I say um, Jamaica, I think, I think, I think we lack something. We have the raw talent. Yes, but yes. Me, but I think we lack, the, we lack the finishing touch, and we lack the football. You know, the classroom thing that we make you think. When I think, yeah. we think, we, yeah. we think, when I think, we think, when I think, we think when we are play. All right. <laughs> so, for example, may I watch, may I watch Argentina on my side, Zin? I may watch the Jamaica match. I watch a match for brother. I watch a match for about ten times already. Full. And then then I watch it over back. Like the Argentina match. You know, I kinda watch the match, you kinda see where we can improve from based on that team. Because that team would have been the strongest team so far that play together, right? Mm. Yeah, and though all of them never play together upon the same um, at the same time, and at the first, them really have come together like that. That team, there, um, they, them look promising. I may I look and 
I see one of the time, couple of the time we have the ball on the right hand side, right? Mm. And I see Bill like him drop when 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 Argentina press up on the right, like him drop deep and him go wide for try to receive it for switch the play. And it's like me, I wonder where we are things. So it's like we just panic. We we'll come on that pressure. Mm. We we'll just panic and we we'll just, we'll just kick the ball and it's like we we'll kick the ball and then put yourself under pressure and then I run up and down to try to win it back. And then we we'll come on that pressure again. We we'll just kick the ball again and then we we'll come on and I so we just run up and down like we don't know what we are doing. And and, yeah. and 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 it's like the, the thinking part, you know, like that thinking part where they're in the class and the teacher said to you, so why if you don't pan the field and this happen? Critical thinking. Do? Yeah, critic pan the field. Like it, it's like mm. we, 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 we lack that. It's like, well, yeah, we lack that. And that a beat you because we have the talents, you know. We have the talents in you know, the JT, we have the, 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 the raw the raw talent as me I say and the players them. But with the pan the field. We don't know. We coach them. We, coach we, we, we have the aisle. Um, yeah, what? Well, curtain boss, we have the aisle, but we don't have a processing plan. We don't have a processing <laughs> plan, basically, brother. Because yeah, yeah. May I watch much. May I watch much yesterday. And, and may I tell you, I kind of feel worried. May I tell you, the, the talent, they are the team, must see the talent. Because individually, um, um, JT, the mm. players, them can play. There's no doubt about that, right? Individually, mm. based on MSC. Because even the midfielder, even at the first start, do them are keep the long balls, they might abide past the midfielders. Them. The midfielders, they might work hard, they might run back, they might go forward, and they really are putting in tackle. So, they really work hard for real, as the coach say. But working hard, and then I feel like I run up and down. So, you got tired at some point, and you're going to lose, you're going to lose concentration at Current some boss. point. Current boss. Yeah, Siobhan, Siobhan, I'm going to let you go right now. Siobhan, guys, big up everybody for coming through. Thank you for tuning in to the JTL Unplug on Elite Sports um, with Ryan LFC. Blessings to everybody. This is how we want to dissect it. Um, the, the conversation is obviously going to evolve. Just hit the like button real quick. Thank you, everybody who's on screen, Unseen, and remember to go and check out Unseen Sports. Um, Curtain Boss, Siobhan is always here with us. And Siobhan, this is why people always think that I was trying to beat Lamar Walker and Juna Flemings. Those players have the raw talent, but their no. mind is not working in a way where they are composed or are able to get themselves out of certain um, 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 problems when they run into issues with the ball. JT, go ahead, Siobhan. What I've realized, um, all right, before go to where you said, about JT, um, um, Curtain Boss, I don't know if you remember. In the second half of the game, when Bell, he looked a bit out of the game. You don't know if you remember that part of the game. Like, he wasn't in the game at the last part of the second half. Like, he was literally tired. He winded completely out of it. I don't know if you remember that part. Bell? Bell? Yeah, on the right hand yeah, side man, in the he second went, half. Yeah, man. Remember, remember saying, he was not putting, uh, him the, him, he, he was the creative element in the team at the first half, you know? They match yeah, him so them start play back. through most of the time on the number two because they had a chemistry. So they re- even the number 14, as I tell you, do them play him out when never win the ball, you could have seen him on ball handler. No time to yeah. the ball the first half. A, a couple of times, well, him drop deep and I try to call feet, you know. He might call Zaire feet. He drop deep and I call Zaire feet to try to bring it forward and then bypass him. So he might have to run so back forward I, again to try. So, so go back to what JT was saying earlier. Let's say we go behind late in our game, in the 78th minute, right, JT? Yeah, we can't come back. We can't come back because our creative no, player... Lose, we lose, we lose. We lose. He literally run the whole match, entire I game. Penalty, my friend. <laughs> so, all right, JT, so what are you there? All right, JT, um, what question did you ask again now? Um, no, but basically, we, we kind of switch a little bit um, into the whole composure thing. And that's what I was looking for yesterday. So what I'm saying is, if we give those youngsters all those practice games, because Anstein and everybody on stream, wasn't the practice games against older players that they played? Uh, yeah. some of, what, what I, I, I would have expected them now when they dropped down to their own age group to look a bit more composed because the, the talent is equal. How are they still looking so rash and so scrappy with playing against because, their own age group? Because, because, depend, because you know, in my say? opinion, all right, go on, go on, Auntie. All mm. right, so in my opinion, is that they just played practice. I don't think they play practice much because uh, based on their objectives. All right, so yeah. for example, so for example, um, I I would play practice. I have a team when we have no management or nobody are pressure me to do certain things. 
and in my way. And the coaching staff agree with me. I work with. So we have to play a practice match based on objectives. So week one, we work on defensive structure, right? Yes. I uh, yes. will play a team and tell the coach that I want your strongest attackers to play, right? So I focus on the defense. But you know, anything where the attackers them do, I may not bash them. But if they do something out of the ordinary, then we bring it up, right? So I look for me, me, me work on them instinct or them without me teaching what I want them for. You understand what I mean? Yes. So with yes. son. At the defender, they may go great. So I'm going to the room. I said, defender, this is why you're not doing right, blah, 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 because this is how we get from the game. So the, so the person who responds with, um, give them that information, I go do it. But I me, write it down and get it and give them. You understand me? The next mm-hmm. match I'm going to play now, I want the best defenders out from the field. I have a list, list. I have the best defenders because I'm going to do attacking now. So I want to know how my attackers are going to play. Well, and see, let you continue. Yeah. Would you bring so much? have so much hybrid players in your team hybrid yeah because the coach spoke about hybrid players are basically players who can play multi-position but they don't really nail down a, a jack of all trades kind of all right so 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 so, so what you need sometimes you need versatility sometimes mm-hmm. in a competition like this where mm-hmm. you know two day apart players go down and one day apart yeah yeah recovery time and the recovery time down. so um as the people say, but strongest team though, I mean, I agree to it because what you know, you know, the competition, you may not have your strongest team play, so your team's supposed to be strong. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can. Your team's supposed yeah. to be strong, you may not have your strongest team playing at all times, if I saw you put it. So all of my players, them supposed to be strong. A player, a player for me, a player for me, may sit on the bench. Why? Because he's not consistent, but he's a good player. He can come on and do good. That's the only way. That's how my team's supposed to be selected. Consistent players start. Players who don't start is the one that were not consistent, but they are good. Mm-hmm. Only mm-hmm. understand me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And see, and see, not going on one bag of rigmarole. Let's tell me, JT, what the problem? The man them play the practice match them, and I say, you want a man? When those go, they're gonna try to lose. Don't go try to lose. Yeah. If you have a defend, Maybe. if you have a defend the whole game, gonna defend the whole game and don't make them score on you. Try not to make them score on you. Cause once we can't make them score on we, then we are going good. So the players yeah. them get so used to defending, defending and not trying to play a system where they move the ball around. So whenever them come to that stage, you know, it's like them just have this defensive mentality. Because children well, play uh, against bigger players. It's like them are, they, 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 it's not like them are work. Yes, when I play the practice match them then against the Premier League team. You know, look to me like them are work pants say, boy, all right, they make move the ball around, use up the talent and you know, just play. Just play the the main, 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 curtain main. boss, curtain boss and shuffle on. But at the same thing, me keep coming back to Marion Gardner so, about it, that question yeah. in the press conference, the system. Because he goes out there. What are you trying to get the players to do? It, those practice games should have exactly. been trying to get the players to buy into what you need them to do, buy into your system. Exactly. <laughs> maybe. And that is why the maybe. players come in at the match, maybe, maybe so, so defensive minded and I realize, so yeah, what they're going to Yeah, because and honestly, you know, JT, play. the first half, you see, the first 15 minutes, we were under, we were literally under pressure, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was saying to military, you know, I don't understand why the Trinidad team had a grand pressure. And so when Jamani got comfortable in the game, that's how the penalty came into play, you know, because he literally get the ball and he attacked them. Exactly. And I saw him, and I saw him get the penalty. Exactly. So maybe the coach used the practice games with the intention of us defending. Because I yesterday me find out say, during the whole practice games we play, exactly. we don't score a goal. Yeah, we don't practice game, we don't score a goal during the whole so, practice. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's from the team, say. So from the no. team at three and up goal. until now, they only score one goal. You know how much practice game? Six? Yeah. Exactly. So six no, man, they score more play. goal, man. Them, them score more goal, man. Them score um I think more than one goal. Them score more than one goal. But those weaker team like you know the the, the college teams. The college team there. Yeah, no, man, we're talking about... I think them beat JDF combined. I think them beat JDF combined too. Two wine. They beat JDF two wine. They beat um, UA four love. I think they beat UA four love. You Bro, I, I, I don't believe in this ultra-defensive mindset of football. Man, I believe so. To me... Man, all right, all right. I, mm, listen, yeah. Mr. I, what Mr. JT, listen to me. You see the tactics I have, it can get you out of the, out of the group stage. Yeah, it can't get real JT, but it's not gonna fire because even our boss Trinidad move one Trinidad move the ball around better than we see. 
I saw Trinidad that wasn't earlier. any threat. Yeah, Tr- Trinidad wasn't any threat to our to our to our defense really. If we put that, if we put you under pressure, so we can't see the defense really that good. I look at me, I say. And I like yeah. some pressure where me, I say, yo, yeah, man, she not put you on a whole heap pressure for all you own and we do this. Oh, yeah, we can yeah. say the defense is really, really good. The few times the change that start putting you on a pressure, brother, then break through. Me, I tell you. I like me, I tell yeah. you, in the last half. When we scope, no, man, the man, they start setting my body forward. Them start, me yeah, tell the... them, break a line a couple times. Them could have scored too. The keeper could have scored. The, them... keeper, the, keeper did, the keeper did well. The keeper did well. Good. So the one time when them really, Put on the pressure for we then break it down. And when the number 10 come on, um, period for the Trinidad, number nine, him, the, the number, number nine. nine, and the number 10, and the number 10, too, man, them give a problem. They don't panic, JT. JT, you see, if they start them number nine, problem, bro, we, we lose no problem. If them they start them number nine, problem. because them number JT, nine, problem, yeah, the number nine, that's the same kid you talk about, right, Chavon? That's the same kid you talk about. No man, the youth of me that about initially was the 12. In there, I played defense. But they said the number nine, when mm. him come on, bro, the back line is pretty Look, shaky. Let me ask you a question, JT. Yeah, hold yeah. well, on, yeah. And, Go yeah, ahead and see. I think the under 17 team I can beat a current and college team. No, not no. even, not no. even no. when current and college are playing with no foot on them body. No, but they I mean, cannot. Because one thing I'm going to be part, brother. It's a position. As I'm saying, uh, me believe Clarendon are the best team in Jamaica right now. Yeah, yeah, I think Clarendon... is, they are, they are. Me, yeah, what I yeah. say, best team, you know, I think if them play, a, I think if, if they allow the Clarendon College to play Premier League, I don't think they would be in a relegation zone. I don't think they would be in a relegation zone, to tell you the truth. And, and Chauvin, it has to do with Lenny Hyde. Um, um, so let me just say, Warren Webster. Not, not only Lenny Hyde, not only Lenny Hyde. Let me just read out this uh, um, and see it. In, because we discussed this already, Warren Webster. We went through the reason why it wasn't televised. That was earlier in the stream. Simon came on and gave a little breakdown. Lenny Hyde, as I said, based on what I saw Lenny Hyde did with the All-Island team, I can see why Clarendon College just kept getting better throughout the season. They just kept getting better and better. Marion Garden, to me, he's coming from the school of Te- Theodore Whitmore. They were a part of that whole mess. They were a part of that whole mess that happened with the team. And you can see the remnants yesterday, the remnants of, of, of how they operated yesterday, where you set up strong defensively. That's what Tapa used to do, you know, set up strong defensively and hope we nick a one nil win. But that doesn't work for very long. You're going to get exposed by teams who come out and strike you quickly. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and maybe maybe you're not ready. Yeah. And, and JT, then you come back into the game. JT, we stop depending on players' individual ability. And create. And create, create patterns of play where we can we, we are. dominate wing back, dominate center back, and again mm-hmm. ball to the back. Patterns of play where the man they know so when the ball goes on there, so you can move this up. And we are going to do a one-two. And move the ball. We would rather play out there so we are going there so I will kick a shot mm. off of the goal. Okay, now for going to the box to score, bro. They can kick shots, you know. Combination play and get shots off of the goal, you know. When we get a free kick, what do we do? What's the tactics? Which That's one the thing. Front Set piece. But, Set piece. Um, Curtin Boss, you realize this yesterday? JT, you know, so every single corner we get, we pass the line, we pass the ball, we have a man the bear, step yeah. on the true line. Literally, distance from the kicker, you know. Every single corner, you know, yeah, they're not keeping the corner cross, yeah, you know. I bell that man. Bell was the man who them who them use who them used to do that. JT, they're not keeping up the corner cross, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, yeah, them kick cross. Yeah, man, they, they kick the cross. But I'm not think a bell cross the ball. Them, them kick cross couple well, man. Brother, yeah. like the thing was a nine because it might have like brother, one well, But I think that's how them tactics for them here. But they need proper set plays. The free kick. I mean, you can't judge free kicks like that. But <coughs> as I'm yo, saying, if we have an I am worried. National team, and we are saying, yo, them can't beat CC, which is a schoolboy team, bro. We are under 17 team, we can get the best of the best out of Jamaica, all over the place that we have a mindset so we can't beat them. Something wrong, bro. No, it, right, it, it's but, something wrong. It is. It but is I'm wrong. Seeing, wrong. Well, I'm seeing, for me, you know, not being able to beat CC is not saying based on the player's quality, you know. No, I mean, I'm not quality. I always play. Yo, it's, it's the cohesion we CC play with. It's the cohesion we CC play with as a team. Yeah, <laughs> no, but 
this this is what me I tell you. If you all right, so if the, the, the this is what me I say. All right, so them have what five week, and them and mm-hmm. the team look good defensively account everybody. So about the five week with this with this all right, them them teach them balance football. Look, wouldn't they look good? Far more better, brother. Yeah. It's well, good. I, I, better, as, as I said, Curtain Boss, I, I, said that question. I think that all our youth teams, our local coaches should assist first and get that experience from an international coach and then they take over going forward. But, but, because Manning Cup football no translate into international football. That's a whole, that's kick and run. True. Coach Helgrim, this is the first thing where the man say, we're playing with too much brute force. When you look in the Premier League, the first thing the man see is too much power. Power football, I'm, I believe in finesse. Arsenal plays with finesse. I'm not an Arsenal fan, but they play finesse football. Look how Arsenal touch it. It's like the man, they might glide out there, brother. It's like that's what you want your team to play, finesse. But that comes with composure. If your players are not composed, Jamaican, our players, the adrenaline takes over because we are fast and they are strong. But we don't have coaches teaching them how to control that 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 adrenaline and use it to their to yeah, the yeah, effect. Yeah. Like a player like Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey know when to turn up the speed and he knows yeah, when man. to slow it down. That's and, the difference and, between and, uh, no, 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 a local right. player. Me no cut a JT. Me watch yeah. when me watch international. JT, me cut it. Me observe. So thank you, thank you, Anstein. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Big up, man. Big up, man. Big up, football. I must be able to do it. Yes, when, yes, when some of the players have a control ball, they say, oh, we have it as control. They have to do that to foot. Mm-hmm. Me watch international football and control. I mean, it have to do that to foot. If you be able to do it sometimes, you beat players. You control it and push it in a space mm-hmm. where you can move towards it. I must be able to do that a lot. And so many times, I, I watch our team and I say, yo, one day we are get the you know brother come like that you know the you know the person where they way back at time brother we are sing some some ninety eight tune and some ninety seven tune yeah, where they yeah, were yeah. in twenty twenty two brother yeah. it's, it's like at that where they where we are play some way back at the time football and back at the time coaching and back at the time this and we not <sighs> develop we not we not get upgraded we not upgrade the thing and the only side of the message Jamaica the only side of the message JT you see where every time there's an under fifteen then JT. It's a different under 15 side. When there's an under 17, different under 17. Under 20, under 23, for example, going up. Then you never can find a five or a four man who, who come from the under 15 who is that good. Who that, 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 that was my next question for you, um, Curtin Boss and, 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 and Siobhan. Did you see any players that you thought would transition? Definitely. Um, transition will. Progress to the next phase, like up to the under twenties, and maybe potentially to the senior team. Continue on that um, curtain boss, and then hand it over to Shavon. Yeah, man, definitely, man. There, there, there are some players there where definitely where, where them fit keep them players together. Just, just like in you know, the, 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 the the under twenty two, where the things so the, the keeper good. I think if you have that keeper there, I'm our own team. name? Boys Clark. Boys Clark, definitely. Um, the, 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 the wing are good. What name? The, 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 what Bell. wing name? Um, no, the Bell wing are... I don't know if I bell him name. No, um, no. Tyler Roberts? I don't know if I say Tyler Roberts. Tyler Roberts, man. Tyler Roberts, Tyler Roberts. Every time that you, yeah. every time that you, they hold the ball, they have it. It's like, he might look fit, fit, fit. If you do, so he's effective. And I said that, I said that, Curtin Boss. He's a team player who should be around the team right now. If ever look for, for, for like, for, for do some more the ball. As compared to, I'm not really impressed with, 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 with Clark, I'm not lying. Yeah. Not really he's he's like Clark. a smarter version of, 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 of um, Junior Flemings. Yeah, Tyler I'm not Roberts. too impressed with him. But to the youth, you say Tyler Roberts, every time that you there, I'm not thinking him getting off play. I don't think him getting off play. And right them players will look, will look like them promise, will look like them want to go far with the ball when they get it. Because them first, players, first but, he had one substitution up his sleeve, was Tyler Roberts for James. Every time it's like them two quickest players can be on the field at the same time. Okay. I, I, I no, never no, get I it. Wonder. <laughs> yes, I wonder if, if we can have the two because even if they are like 50, 17, I wonder if Bell couldn't start on the right and Dylan start on the left. 
as, as a star, it, more than happy. You get me, I say? He, he, he just keeps subbing the two it, players. It comes like one of the best, like one of the best players them on the field at all time. It's like, we have to say, yeah. you know, you are one of the best, and you are one of the best. You are mega sub on one of the best, one of the best. And have because, a you know why? Man. Oh, come on. You know why that happens? Two business. Because the two of them, the two biggest attacking threats, tired after 70 minutes. What well, happened when him protect them? No, but brother, then there. win the game. Win the game in the first 45 minutes then. Definitely. Shavon, it does, you can win a football game in the first 45. Jetty, what I'm saying to you, Shavon? Jetty, Jetty, eh? Jetty. I am not saying it because I agree with the coach. And I am just probably thinking. Remember, you know, we keep going in this fairy tale thing, talking about this for happen. This We have to think as if what we have to go. We have to think right here as fans. How is the best way that we believe we can go forward with the coach that we have? All right. Well, understand that he's stubborn. He's not going to change his ways. So how do we see a path going forward with this team, with his current structure? Because we can get, we can stay here and say, yo, we, can, we want the team to play this. It's not going to happen. We'll have to no, be No, Shavon, this is the problem now. We, we, I don't see this working out because I don't think Marion Garden would humble himself enough to actually even take any advice we give him here. I think he's probably thinking, with them people at the point YouTube attack, as we tap us in. No, he said that. He said that. He said that last night. So what? He said that fans will always criticize because the question was yeah, asked him, the question was asked or was asked to him pertaining to some fans were fans, saying that you were bypassing the yeah. midfield yeah. and he was yeah. saying, well, fans will, fans will be fans and they will always criticize. He said you it. see, yeah, but so he already telling you that he no plan to listen. <laughs> In other <laughs> words, he no plan to listen. So that's another thing. Many thing us many doing things. that and talking. Yeah, many things we have them, 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 them quality players there and the team. I'm sick of them. Half quality and I play that type of football. They like we not utilize the players. Then. See your thing, JT. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it, it really grieves me. It, are the only. Thing, when we watch a Mexico team, when we watch a, a USA team from the Caribbean, and even the, the recent um, 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 Canada team, the Panama team, even the, 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 the Costa Rica team, in one of the matches, even the El Salvador match we play now, uh, Andorra's match, I think, I saw them U20 players, them U20 players, they realize they realize that they never had a gun away, and they must say, even if we give them U20 the exposure and the experience, and, yeah. and it's like, we don't believe in our youth, we have some talented youth, and they come like, no, 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 no. I'm going to disagree with you now. I'm going to disagree with you now, um, Curtin Boss. No, listen to me, I know you get me wrong. I you get me wrong. Because, because listen to me, last, last, last. Uh, Curtin Boss froze up. Last work of qualification, I got on Zane. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, freeze up. Oh, man, freeze up. You're back again, you're back again, you're back again. But let me just add something to what um, Curtin Boss was saying. The reason why I said uh, it's not about giving youths a chance. Because giving youths a chance that wasn't developed correctly. What, what is the sense in that? I think we have to just start rebuilding and picking the actual youths them that can be trained. <laughs> That's the idea. I think we need to find players that can be trained. Some players where, where we see where we have, the, brother, them say, them have a thing at Jamaica where them say, we're growing up. You can't bend a tree. You have to bend the tree from it young. You can't bend a, a big old tree, brother. That now go work. So you see, if we have players where you instill these bad habits in them, because you can coach a player in a wrong way, you know, if you instill all these bad habits in these young youths, it even makes sense you bring some of them into the senior team because now you have to go get rid of the habits, teach them over for play, and get them to buy into what you do. So you have to find people who are like sponge. Players who can absorb information and process it. That's another thing, as we spoke about, the ability to process information. And if you can't, if something arrives that's an anomaly, the player is supposed to be able to problem solve and have that instinct to know how to react on the fly. We don't have that with a lot of our players. And I think going forward, bro, the coaching, the coaching it's going to come down to. Marion Garden saying fans is going to say what they want to say. Them say, it's not the man on the horse, see the danger. The man with turn up a look. 
You see me I say? So he's down there on the sideline in golfing the whole thing. The fans, they must see the whole of the mistake. They must see the whole of the mistake up here, so brother. And then I tell you, he's not going to listen. He's not going to listen because he's saying, no, I coach the national team. Me a big coach already. Whatever them ever win. But bro, what have you ever won either on the international stage? You're going into a whole nether ball game. So based on what I seen yesterday, bro, I, I think the internet, I think the head coach, the head coach need to be involved. I mean, ask Marion Garden that in the press conference. The head coach, the, I thought the head coach or the assistant should have been involved in structuring this under 17 team. I don't think they should have wait and give this the, the assistant coach the U20 job because now he might he might get a bunch of players who didn't even transition well. Let him come right at the under 17 and get these players to buy into what we want to do at the under 20 and the senior level and make that transition a bit smoother. Final right, take, curtain boss, and then we we'll wrap up. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, most of them are not, are not 15 players right now. They're in an academy, right? Basically. Mm -hmm. I come from a structure. Mm -hmm. So, wouldn't this be a good start then? Since we are start with a new new um, we, call we have new coach, we have new people we're, we're, we're coming at the, at the JFF, right? Mm -hmm. And we understand what you're saying. Going to the facts, but they will usually just pick up schoolboy teams that play different um different system and different thing and all of that. So they've done badly trained already. So we we'll get them together. Who good, good, and who never so good. It's just whatever it is. But for now that we're starting something new, right? So we have a new head coach who really look promising and look like he's a man in the empire, right? He mm -hmm. speaks well. And me, me see him do something when we really when we really take on to when 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 gather I, I think every two weeks he gather yeah the um, local the local contingent yeah that best of them and him try to instill the team system when one of them so if it is that whenever these guys do get a call up because of them performance them, them know exactly same way though they might not be playing with the team you understand them know exactly where he might look for so that is really good yeah. right yeah so I think now is the time where where where, where we first start use like all teams, all the national team them, under 20, under 15, under what, should basically be using the same system. system. And, and guess what? If you have different coaches, Curtin Boss, if you have different coaches, yeah. all the coaches at the youth level and the senior coach should have regular meetings, regular, regular. meetings to, to collaborate regular. on how the game, how they're going to evolve what they're trying to do. Continue. Most definitely. So that's whenever a guy, a, 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 a baller left, say, he, he play under 15 and we'll go, we'll go the under 17 or whatever, we'll go to the World Cup, right? And mm. he gets a contract then to go to one of those clubs. And he's performing well and he matriculate when he can play for the, for, the, for, the, for the senior team. You know, just as saying, he reach 18 or 19 and he might play so well where he get called for the national team. It's not something where he's not used to. He done and played mm. that from 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 done and played the system already. So whenever he comes or whenever he go, wherever he might go, if he gets called to the national team, whichever level it is, he already knows the system that would So play that means so so curtain boss, what them doing now? Them have the youth, them are play some different kind of madness at each stage. And then mm. when we are asked them to do the right thing at the senior level. <laughs> um so. Yeah, but thank you again. And, and, and the next thing to we need oh, go ahead. If we start, start get... Yeah, yeah. Curtain boss, I break up, guys. Um, curtain boss, yeah, thank you very much. We reactive. We need to be more proactive. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming on, my brother. And let's keep in because touch we and we we'll chop it up. Yeah. Thank you for coming yeah. on again, and we'll chop it up again. All right. Big up All right, Mitchy. All right, big up. Yeah, guys, and I have a little, you know, you know, me can't end with a little bad news when it, when it comes to my opinion. A lot of fans, I think the head coach at the senior team, he's actually going to build the team with local players. I think the head coach is going to build the team with local players and implement the international players. I don't think this coach is going to build the team with international players and then implement local players. You know why? This man... If you pay these coaches to coach, these Scandinavian coach, they're going to coach as much as they can. And they're going to want to start working with the players they have. 
and then they implement players. So a lot of fans might be thinking that this coach is just going to build a team where everybody's overseas. The problem with that is he's not going to get to coach those players enough. So I think he's going to start coaching up his players in Jamaica and the ones he believes in, he keeps them and implement the international players. So I think people should probably start getting used to the fact that there's going to be some local players in the team going forward. I, I definitely believe that this coach, this is why he's paying so much attention to the local game. This is why he's going to these matches and try to learn um, the, the, the culture and everything because I think he plans to build his team with some of those players you see him call up. I don't think it's going to be because the problem is when all your players are overseas, the top players, he's not going to get enough time to coach them. And I think he's going to start coaching up these guys and the ones who buy into what he wants to do the quickest. I think those guys will emerge and come into the senior team. However, I don't know, guys, if Marion Garden can get it together because I don't know if he has the ability to learn fast enough and to evolve. I think he needs help. I think he needs help. I think you basically give two men the job, Reynolds and Marion Garden, where they both are not from the upper shallons when it comes to thinking, when it comes to football. People always say, JT, why are you always a beat Marion Garden? Marion Garden is probably going to be a good coach. If it was even the guy, Coley, who was coaching with Schaefer, I would have believed in the thing more because he has expanded his knowledge on the game. He has gone overseas. He has gathered more information. And I think he could come back now and help the team. But I think Marion Garden, guys like that, who are involved in the schoolboy football and the local game, I don't see that translating on the international stage because this is what we're running into now. We're going to have difficulty scoring goals. And as I said, you cannot draw up, draw every match and go on a World Cup. You're going to have to beat people. And you're going to have to come back from behind when it's like you're down by two goals. Can this Jamaica team do that if it's built on defense? And a lot of times when you build your team around just a defensive mindset and you get scored on early, it sometimes breaks the morale of the team. And guys start feeling like they lost already because they don't have the team to come back from behind. So that's very important. But thank you guys. Thank you everybody for coming through. And um, it was a great episode. Um, it's been a while since I've been on. Bless up everybody. Bless up Ryan LFC. Bless up the whole Elite um, Sports TV. Um, and bless up everybody in the YouTube space who's contributing to Jamaican football. And bless up to all of the fans them in the chat and in the diaspora or locally who have made this possible. Thank you guys again. Thank Siobhan for coming on. Thank you to um, Unseen Sports. Um, bless up everybody. I think Mr. Rudolph Speed came through for a bit. Bless up everybody. Um, see you guys again soon. All right. Bless.